Today we're checking out Distant Worlds 2. It comes out here in March, March 10th. Uh, I am fortunate enough to get an early key, an early look at it. And so we're going to show it, show it off today. I can show off most of the game. There's a couple things I can't, but that's some minor things. And uh, we'll see what the game is all about. If you're not familiar with Distant Worlds, um, this is one of those games, if you pay any attention to sort of like, you know, lists, best game ever kind of lists. Um, even in like just strategy game or 4X strategy game for sure, Distant Worlds... Um, I've seen that a couple of other lists it puts it number one, like even in, in not just space forex, just in forex in general. Um, and it is a pretty incredible game. If you're familiar with like Aurora forex, which if you're familiar with Aurora forex, you're probably familiar with Distant Worlds. Um, it's a very deep strategy game and sim uh, set in space. Uh, you know, Master of uh, Orion or, or Stellaris, that kind of a setting. But there's a lot going on, and and the um, I think the thing that is probably the most um, interesting, at least to me anyway, with this is, is the automation. So like the game is complex, but it's only as complex as you want it to be. Like you can automate, you could, you could automate your entire empire, sit back, watch the game. There's, there is, there is AI for whatever you want. So you make it as, as mind numbingly complex if you'd like as well, if you want to min max everything. Um, but anyway, we're going to build ourselves a, a stellar empire here, if all goes well. Uh, and see how it goes. By Code Force and by uh, published by Slytherin coming out on March 10th. And uh, we're going to see what's going on. So this is a beta, yada, yada, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, the only thing I can't show you is a couple of, the, of uh, most of the of the races, but I'll, we'll see everything else. So let's begin and get into Distant Worlds 2. So uh, lots of things we can change around here with the settings. You, you, uh, you'll you find there's a lot of buttons and... Um, and you'll see this throughout the game. There's lots and lots of options. This is a very, a very deep game, a very complex game. But again, only as complex as you want it to be. And I am not a, uh, a master of Distant Worlds. Uh, I'm a master of Orion. <laughs> uh, um, so I'm going to be automating some things. And we will try to uh, get into the game. Okay, and, and figure it out. So, uh, there's a little bit of, of building a galaxy here. We're going to do that. We're going to go with a nice spiral galaxy. We're going to pick something else. Um, even clusters, very clusters. Irregular. A dual ring, dense cluster. Dual ring, no center. I mean, you know, whatever. We can go. We'll just go with this nice spiral galaxy. Uh, we'll have a nice 700 stars, which is good. A, a normally dense nebula. Nebula are mountains. They are they're mountains, basically. They, they're hard to cross. There you go. Um, I'm going to use most of the basic stuff. We're going to go pre-warp today. So no, typically, if I was doing a YouTube video, which this will be a YouTube video, but if I was doing like a 30-minute YouTube video, I would jump into the game and show the thing off. But I think the best way of seeing Distant Worlds um, is uh, and, and feeling what Distant Worlds is, is getting into the pre-warp and start with the very basics and just kind of easy into the game. So we're starting out like a, we're in the Expanse right now, if you watch the Expanse. We're, we're in the Expanse setting. And we're gonna ease our way out into more things. We got one system. We got a couple moons around. We got some asteroids, that kind of stuff. We'll leave everything else on normal difficulty and all that's fine. Normal research, uh, research visibility. Uh, I'm gonna turn that off. It is already de default off. The tech tree is massive, and this is gonna be you know ease us into it. Uh, there's also fixed or random research paths for well randomization and tech trading. We'll leave it on. Sure. As for threats. Normal pirates, normal uh, normal pirate strength. Pirates, they're average. They do not respawn. They die when they when we kill them. There's normal space creatures around there as well. Uh, everything normal is fine. This is basically, you know, is again a million different buttons we can push. All right. So for the races, there is only seven in the game so far. I know there's more in the game. There's only seven that we can pick to start with. From what I understand, they're going to be adding more in. Like Distant Worlds One had like a you know a, a plethora of um, different races. Um, but they all have a story. Uh, here's the Actarian. These are the, these are the, like, the friendly, smart fish people. Um, and they all have different, you like numbers? Well, there you go. There's lots and lots of numbers about what they like, what they don't like. They like research. Uh, they're friendly fish. Friendly fish that like, friendly, smart fish. Um, we got the Boscara. The two that I can show, or that I can play here, are the Actarian and the Mortalin, or the Mortalin. Um, who are the, like, the... Reptile Klingons. Honorable Reptiles. So, that's what we're going to play as today, just if you're wondering. The Buscara, we have the Ferocious Bugs. 
We have the Hakonish, or the, uh, they're reptiles as well. What are they all about? They're like marshy, marshy, froggy, um, what are they about? I forget what they're about. Um, engine research, research, research. Yeah, yeah. So they are, they are smart, but they're a little bit uh, undependable, I guess, and a little bit aggressive. Humans are kind of jerks. They're, they, you know, they're humans. Uh, the Tekken are like the little rodent mining industrious fellas. And then the Xenox are like the friendly, the friendly cats. I think it's the best way of describing them. Anyway, Mortalin. Mortalin. That's who we're going to be. Um, we are the, uh, the grumpy lizards. That is, that is who we, um, refer to ourselves as. We'll get a story and, uh, we like desert worlds. We, um, we, we do, we do have a little bit of, like, we like making weapons, we like making armor, but that's pretty much it. And we don't like anyone else. Um, my empire name, we're going to be the, um, uh, the, the Nookratile, because we're reptilian, the Nookratile. <laughs> uh, my color, we're going to go with a nice bright yellow one, so it stands out for me, that one. Um, so this is all races that are in the game as it comes out, from what I understand, um, yeah, there's other ones will be added in later on. And there are other races in the game, you just, you can't play them. At least yet. So, I don't really know what the plan is for all that. I haven't seen any of that, much of that stuff. Um, I wasn't in the beta or anything. This is just, um, I just got this, uh, just last night. So, we, democracy, we can see all the stats there. We can be a feudalism, uh, mercantile, dictatorship, monarchy, or republic. Uh, and you can see the stats there. You know, we can be a king, or we can be a lord. Feudalism kind of sounds kind of nice. We get bad population growth. We we don't mind fighting things. Diplomacy, no good. Research across the board, bad research. But plus weapons and troop research, which is what we're already pluses at. So we could, like, specialize into... So people aren't going to be happy about it, but we can, like, focus on building weapons and things. You know, just for something a little, little spicy. Sure. Let's do it. Uh, the home system is going to be normal. We will expand in, uh, in the, the starting. We're just a single colony. We got no ships. We got nothing. Uh, we're pre-warp technology, and we have... We can do... Start in the middle. We can start in the outer core. We start in the far reaches. We're starting random. It's fine. If we start in the middle, more there's more excitement, probably. Well, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do the core, just because we're going to do pre-warp, so it's going to be a little harder to get into things. But this way, we'll see th more things if we're in the middle. Does that make sense? So... That's a compromise there. Uh, we have 12 empires to start with. We can we can add them in as we want. Uh, and we can set them up on whatever tech level you want. Um, I was watching uh, Daz Tactic. And he, he called it perfectly unbalanced distant worlds. Where like you you may... It's it's not a, like a multiplayer kind of thing where you, everyone starts off at a on a... You know, I guess you can make it that way. Um, everyone's on a nice, nice, even slate. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. There's some, you know, there's some, uh, unbalancedness out there. And made that way. Uh, here's our starting, uh, victory conditions we can do. You know, 75%, 75% uh, of the territory, your population, or economy, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna leave it as it is. And let's begin, finally. Okay, let's generate a galaxy. Uh -uh. Beekeepian, thank you for the follow. Any bets on not getting out of the starting in this stream? Oh, no, no. We'll get out. We'll get out. There's going to be 12 of us. The 12. Uh, did I did. There was 12, right? I didn't, I didn't change it on accident. A faction is known as the Nookra Tiles. Our government is feudalism. We are the Mortalen, who are typically very aggressive and very dependable. Mortalen have natural skills and war weariness reduction. We know all that. Uh, my leader's name is Deshki Isklor. Skilled in population growth, which is good. We get more people. Uh, what, uh, do you, like, procreate a lot? Um, our whole planet is, is Kohoral, a rocky distant planet, uh, rocky desert planet in the Yogame system. Yogame. Nearby the gas giant planet of Yogame 6, so we're on a moon. Also nearby is a rocky planet, Moon Lasaza. Uh, so we have primitive technologies. We're just beginning to take our first steps into space. Let's get started. Check it out. This is it. There we go. Excellent. I, I like that little that little scroll there. All right, glory awaits. In the ancient Mortalen troop ship ruins. I think it's like the Mortalen. Uh, we have made a curious discovery. So we found um, some early warp field experiments from like an old ancient ship. There's a story here where like there was 
the skies were colonized and then some sort of catastrophe happened and then now we're starting over again basically that's why there's stuff out there uh, so we found an old spaceship that had warp tech in it um, we we found something to advance our research labs which is good and this is randomized uh, well that one isn't uh, the ruins provide the following bonuses we get more colony developments more shields research and plus three scenery Ooh, it's a pretty place yeah it certainly is a pretty place isn't it check that out yeah I like it okay so there's the ruins okay get out of here now let's pause the game real quick let's take a little look at this so I'll do a little run rundown uh, if you're not familiar with the game so you can see what's going on. Uh, so Korhor is my planet. Now, this game is going to assault you with numbers and information, but um, there's a lot of automation, and I've got it set. Uh, I think on default, a lot of the automation is on. We can adjust that on. I'll show you all this stuff when we get to it. We made a starship. Okay, good. Uh, let's zoom out a little bit. So that's our planet, our moon that we live on. We have a gas giant, Yo Game 6, and we have a moon also next to us. Uh, in our planet, we have a couple ships. You can see the yellow blips. That's why I picked yellow, because it's easy to see. We have a, um, whoops, paused. Uh, we have a crafty guardian. A ship over there getting built. Uh, what is it? It is a construction ship. Uh, over on this side, we can zoom in all the way in to this little mining ship. We have high expectations on mining things, apparently. The cheerful peril. <laughs> and then we have ourselves a little exploration ship. The, uh, the, the Pathfinder. Crooked Distress. Is his name? <laughs> what? What names? Um, so they're going to go out and do some exploring. Now, if I wanted to, I could come in and I can say, hey, go explore that place. Uh, I can manually tell him what to do, which I just I just told him to go over there. But it's going to take him, like, what? Um, this is like expanse tech. So we're going... It's going to take a long time to get there. To get over there. I'm not sure how long it's going to take him. It'll, it'll tell me, I think, if I click on it. I don't remember. Anyway, to go there's going to take a long time. So we're going to tell Crooked Distress, just automate yourself, just fully automated. Go do what you want to do. Um, we'll deal with everything later on. So we'll zoom on out. This is our little local sy local planetary system. This is our local system. We have the Yogame or Yogama star right over here, which is very exciting. Uh, we've also got other planets. We've got a, uh, a carbonaceous planet. So we've got a rocky ice moon. We've got a rocky ice planet. We're hoping for deserts. Rocky ice planet. Um, we've got an ocean world over there. We've got a gas giant. And there is a sandy desert moon, which might be good for us. Uh, and that's about it. There's no asteroids in this place. All right. So there is our, our main system. We'll zoom on out a little bit further. Notice, notice there's no, like, load screens or anything. You know, it's kind of fancy. So you can go all the way into the planets. I uh, will unpause it, and you can see it spinning around. You can go to my world, and you can see, like, you know, there's a little bit. Of, I think I think this actually grows as your planet gets bigger as well. You can see, yeah, yeah, you know, pretty stuff. There he goes. He's out, just hanging out there. Um, we'll zoom out of our system, and we'll go say hello to the neighbors, which we don't know anything about. Apparently, it's stormy out here. We'll zoom all the way out. All the way out. And there's our galaxy. So, um, you can see we've got this sort of little zone here, yellow. It's not really, doesn't mean much other than the fact that we're sort of, we're there. Um, but we got other systems over here. We don't really know much about these. We have to, you know, we have to go figure it out. Uh, which we'll do eventually. Yeah, planet textures are all random. There's no two planets alike, right? These are all randomly, like, generated, these planets. Um... <clears throat> Uh, it might be this... No, I'm not dropping any frames. So, my, my, um... Uh, my, my, um, my... Uh, 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 stream seems to be running all right. So, let's go ahead and let this thing play out here a little bit. We'll run through a couple menus. Most, most of the game, at least for early on, is going to be spent over here. My advisor will tell me things. All kinds of stuff's going to pop up over here. So, they're saying... This is my advisor. He thinks he's so smart. He's saying, why don't you build an exploration ship? That's, that's a, that's a pretty good idea. So, he's going to, for 3,000 bucks, build a ship. I got it. So we'll do that. We'll spend some more money here, making a little bit each month. Um, I've got... We're working on early warp field experiments. We saw that before, uh, which will go on my ships. Automated, if if we choose. Uh, we've got one colony. We've got 200... Or we got 2 billion people on this planet. And it's starting. The other advisor suggestion says, why don't you build a spaceport out there? Okay. You go right ahead. So and we can see this as we go and build this thing. And there's, there's the... Um, I don't know. They're working on it. And so we'll go get to work on, on building our space port here so we can build some spaceships. 
So, uh, again, we're starting at the pre-warp, which is really early stuff. Hey, Shul, how's it going? But I think it's for the the uninitiated distant worlds, at least for me. It's a lot easier to get into the game when you can kind of ease yourself into it. Because, there's, there's, you know, there's a, there's a lot of, uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff. Um, and each of these has, has multiple tabs. So... Um, our state economy, for instance, we'll go through. We've got, like, Empire tab. We've got the uh, the Diplomacy tab. We've got our characters, which would be, like, I only have me for right now, but we'll get more spies and uh, ambassadors and all that stuff. Uh, everyone has different specialties. I'm good at I'm good at making babies, apparently. <laughs> I guess that's what I do with my with my whatever I got there. Uh, I've, I've got colonies. i got my one colony in system. No, just one colony, period. We can do some exploring. We've got uh, the, the, the Crooked Distress is out surveying La Saza. It went to the moon. It did actually go to the moon to do it, uh, which uh, it's not actually going there yet, but it's... Where are you? Uh, he, he's he's slowly making his way there, but we don't have warp tech, so it's going to take him a long time to get there. I don't know. There's a way of seeing when, how long it's going to take him. I don't remember where it, where it says it, though. Uh, again, I can take over control if I want to, and there's all kinds of different tactics and all I can do with him, but we'll leave him as it is. Um, I do have some ruins on my planet, which gives me a colony development bonus. Uh, no abandoned ships around, no special locations. Uh, we've got resources. There's a lot of resources. Oh, yeah, there's... How many are in there? There's like 40 different resources. We've got... we got, like, tech resources to, f for, to build ships. Uh, like, for instance, we need... Kazlon is our gas. Um, you can see what they do here. Argon using weapons. We've got Aculon here in, in uh, strong heat-resistant blue metals. Um, we'll go mine that stuff out in these. That's what we're going to go look around for first, resources. Uh, we've got making things, building ships. Uh, we've got a uh, research tab. we got a fleet tab. And we have a civilian tab. So, segue into the civilian part of the game. Uh, we're, we're on the moon. That's right, Krypton. That's right. Um, yeah, so this, this tech we're getting here, this early warp field, only gets us into our system. To go outside the system, we need another tech for that. I'm going to turn the speed up just a little bit, just so we can get things moving along here. Um, we have a uh, we have a state economy. State economy is my money there. This is like you know me building warships or exploration ships or um, uh, colony ships, whatever. That that's my money that I'm building. I just built a construction ship with my money. I'm going to go build some things, um, and you can see our our, uh, our 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 funding right here. Sol Sultry, thanks for the follow. Scroll on down. And we can see the private economy. So you'll see this more once we get things made. But the 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 private economy is going to go around. Here's a little bit going on here. Um, you can see these guys kind of bouncing back and forth. Oh, they're actually they're building this thing. Never mind. They're going to go out and they'll like, we'll get like a mine set up. And they'll send out their miners and their haulers or whatever. And they'll go and they'll grab minerals and go sell them. And they'll kind of do their own little thing. We tax that. We get money off of that. So you want to have a good private economy to help your state economy. Um, it's a little a little uh, lesson in economics there for you. You didn't think you are going to get that today, did you? So you can see, we're at 4x speed. Days are flying by. This guy is slowly, very slowly making it there. <laughs> this is pre-warp. So we're mostly waiting for our warp tech to come in before we can do much. Yeah, so he's cruising on at impulse speed. It's They're going to be old, old grandpa grandparents by the time they get there. But, you know, that's their job. That's for the Empire, you know, and all that. We're going to do Scientist in here. This little A means he's automated. He's going to... I'm going to let the game do what they want to do with him. He... Uh, do we know what he does yet? Uh, he's untested, so we don't know what his skills are. We'll learn more as he as he does things. Exploration ship is done. He'll go out and do something. Um, there's that guy. So, we can boost the research speed up with uh, this guy over here. We can say, let's put some money into research. We'll put 10% of our money into research. I hope that goes a little faster. Uh, we'll get a research station as well, which will help things along here. Um, I think mostly we're waiting for this station to get built before we can do really too much. We got a spy showing up. You know, big whoop. We don't need a spy. Uh, tech. Let's look at the tech tree. So all we see is the first and the second tier of stuff. This thing gets a lot bigger. Um, it gets a lot bigger. So uh, right now, uh, we are... Um, where are we at here? We're working on our warp field experience, which is right there. This will lead into something uh, once we get it done, which is more warp, basically. So, 
lots and lots of tech. And you, really, you don't like... This is also a little bit randomized with the start we, we chose. Um, we've got like... Um, we kind of like focus... Right, you're not gonna go and you're not gonna get pulse weapons and beam weapons and missiles and ion weapons. You're gonna kind of focus one down. So um, I think uh, that's as far. I can't go. I can't go right or left. That's as far as we go here. So anyway, there's research. Um, I've always meant this as automated. I think it'll be alright. I'm gonna leave it as automated. We'll, we'll leave it alone. I need to, I need the colony growth. I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm not gonna touch that. Leave it alone. So we'll see maintenance. We can see all these these numbers if we want as well. Um, and then oh, also policy. So this is where we can set up things like if you want colonization to be automated, you could set everything up automated. I've, I remember seeing something about Distant Worlds Universe, the first one. And like if you want to play the game where you can sit back and do nothing. If you wanted to like let the whole empire run itself and you just control a fleet and go around and do fleet things, be pirates, whatever, you can do that because everything's automated. You pick your fleet manually, your fleet around. Um, that's also something you can do. So it's all, you know, you can make it all manual if you want. You want to deal with stock levels and funding levels. You know, you go for it. You're crazy, but go for it. That's how you do it. So there you go. So the, the spaceport is done. It is building at the moment a, uh, the secretive beggar, a small freighter, which is a civilian ship. Uh, we've also got the celestial quest mining ship and a, another small freighter. These are little civilian ships that will go do little jobs for us. Um, we're also building... This, uh, the Tarnished Obsession. I love the names. Fantastic. These are like Twitch names. Excellent. Has he made it yet? Oh, he's almost there. Oh, nice. Grandpa, tell us what you find. So, tech is almost done. And you'll see, you will see a, um, a vast difference as soon as this shows up here in 339 days. And there they go. They are now, this is 4x speed, remember? They are spitting out lots of little drones to go explore this this moon to tell us what it, what's so special about it. So in 60 seconds we'll have, we'll figure that out. And we just we just did. Oh no, we got that's that is um my planet. So let's go back over here. Someone ex someone explored this one. I didn't see that one. So gas giant, it has things. We have discovered there's things here. There's krypton here. So no superman's coming around here. Well maybe he is. But uh this planet has a lot of krypton. There's an abundance of krypton which we can see what it does. It is an inert green gas used in weapons, shielding. We've got argon, which is right here, which is used in weapons, shielding, reactor components. These are all important things we have. And Kazlon, the most important, which is gas. So, uh, Carl Dev, thanks for the follow. So we're going to tell them to go build a mining station here because we want to mine this planet. We're going to take it, all the good stuff out of it. That's going to go, the civilians are going to basically going to take care of that. We build a mining station, they go in, they they suck out the good stuff and bring it back to my home world. We profit. So very, very Ferengi uh, ideals here. Uh, Lola Sessa has also been scouted. That guy has done it. Now, now great grandma is going to go <laughs> kind of fly back. Uh, in this system, we found some things. We have found. We've got Mebnar. We've got steel. We found steel. Uh, we've got Kuprika, and we have Aculon. We have there's there's strategic resources. There's also luxury resources, which helps like build our planet. Uh, we can see what these these are basically these are all important. Uh, if there's a substantial amount, which this is substantial, we want to build a mine. So we're gonna build a mining colony on there, so their great grandparents can come back and build a mine on this thing. And uh, let's go back. So it looks like I'm at it looks like I'm paused, but <laughs> but we're just so slow. You know, we're just creeping along. <clears throat> how many resources are resources limited in the game uh so here's how it works uh let's, where's my uh let's go over let's take a look at um so mebnar we're using mebnar and we're like building those ships or whatever we use all these resources to make things um and the private economy also is buying it from us to make those things. So, like, if they want to use carbonite, they're buying it from us to build their ships. So, we're profiting off having that carbonite. You may get traders later on from other uh, uh, races and, and folks that will come in and trade with you. Um, but it's very important to have a, you know, a wide variety of resources, obviously. Um, and not just these. These are all, like, you know, making things, resources. Um, we'll find some other ones that are going to be, like, wine. And that's going to help the planet. 
So the planet will make people happy, better developments, more more wine, more babies. Um, which that's kind of how it works in the real world too. And so we get you know corruption, all that stuff will be taken care of. Happiness with um, whatever. Taxes are too high. Yeah, they can they can whine about it. We can build new ships here at the planet as well. We've also got troops on on the planet. We can hire some troops in if we want. Uh, we've got one um, conqueror force there. Um, but right now we're gonna basically just sit back for a moment. Sit back and just just wait for um, to ease us into the game. Carapace should come come back for scrap. <laughs> so ancient technology has been discovered. Using the ancient knowledge recovered in our earlier exploration, we just developed our first primitive hyperdrive. This technology allows our starships to travel faster than light. Outrageous. Okay, so it is it is warp point one or whatever. It's very slow. Uh, the the game will will um, automatically upgrade our ships, our exploration ships and things like that, so they can go and go out and scout out the place. We got a new scientist in here. We also have the uh, the tech is done. Uh, it already it automatically puts us into early energy deflectors, which I don't really care about right now. I want to get... Uh, what do I want to get first? Um, basic sensors is always nice, so we can do a little more scanning of the place, which is what we are doing right now anyway. Uh, no, no, okay, go away. Um... I think, that's what, I think that's what I want. Energy collection is all... Sm ah, yeah, go away. Um, let's go with... Actually, that's, 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 I don't care about that so much. We want stable work fields. That's what we want to get. Let's get that one next. So, stable work fields, that, that's going to allow us to go... Right, That's the one that gets us outside the system. So we want to get... We basically won't, we won't work fields. Now we can go ahead and pay. We can pay 22,000 credits to, of our, it says it in here, of our, how much we have? We, we have more than that. Uh, we're we're going we're to pay to help this go faster. So yeah, we're putting money into it because we need we need warp tech. I was gonna, supposed to do that before and I forgot. So we can get our things moving because we got to move. We got to move real fast. These guys are going real slow still. They will come back and get refitted, which he's probably going to do that right now. Um, probably where he's heading off to. Okay, yeah, retrofit. So he's heading back to the spaceport to get fitted. Uh, it automatically has upgraded my ships. There is a ship design screen. Hey, segue. Uh, let's go. Let's go check out the, uh, the the ship construction. So, uh, like we've got a that was a what that was a constructor. Let's go to the ex escort. So here's my ship. Um, again, th there's a lot happening, but. Most of this is automated, so there's there's not I'm not doing a lot. I'm just showing things. Um, I'm you know I'm just sort of sitting back, letting the game play itself at the moment. But all the stuff that we have is right over here, and all the stuff that's on the ship is here. So it has like a command center. It has some fuel cells. It got some engines. Uh, it does have a, a couple cannons on it for some reason. I guess we can shoot asteroids. Uh, it's got some armor on it as well. Um, it has yeah, all these stats are over here. You can change things around if you want. You know, say oh, I don't want that engine. Get that out of here. It slows us down a little bit. You know, whatever. We can change that into directional thrusters. Or, you know, we can change that around if we want. Um, our power made, power used, it's all over here. You like numbers? Well, here's some numbers. How well we go with slow speed or cruising speed or sprinting or hyperspace, you know. Uh, and you like more numbers? Would you like some more numbers? Well, <laughs> there you go. There's some more numbers. And there's the resources required to build this ship. Is my head in the way? No, there you go. So all the stuff we needed, like the steel, the carbonite, the bebnar. Of course, we need the the fuel to run the thing uh, as we um, as we go. So as a recommendation, what do you want? Tri Empire has no supply of steel, carbonite, mebnar, polymer, silicon, amorous crystal. So that's why we that's our first goal here is to go out and get resources. So we'll start whining about that. Ludicrous speed. That's what we're researching right now is ludicrous speed. That's, when, when are we going to get a game that has ludicrous speed ratings? That's what I want. So here at the, stage, uh, the spaceport, we're not building anything. We're just retrofitting everything, um, which is good because we can go out there. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, exciting times. One of our ships, the Tarnished Obsession, has engaged its hyperdrive, allowing our empire to, fire, fatter, to travel faster than light. I'm so excited I can't say it straight for the very first time. Distances previously took months to traverse that can now be covered nearly instantly. Next stop, the stars. All right. Where's that Tarnished Obsession at? It's still... Uh, we'll see it flying here. Oh, there it goes. 
Did you see that? Did you see how fast it went to the planet? It's just a miner. All right, so uh, the first ship to go to, to light speed is just is just some miner. <laughs> well, you know. So we'll go meet some pirates here probably pretty soon. Is there pirates in our system? You see any yet? Um, I don't see the, one of the little... Um, maybe we don't have any? I'm sure there's some out there somewhere. And I'm sure we'll find pirates out here. Pirates are kind of cool in this game, though, the way they work. My advisor wants me to build a uh, another exploration ship. I think it's probably a good idea because we've got some exploration to do. Let's, you know what? Let's go build some more, shall we? We can go over here and we can say, I would like you to... Uh, um, uh, this one. I would like you to go and build me um, another... Let's build two more exploration ships. Uh, well, I say that. There we go. Build two of those. Purchase two more of those. Let's get some exploration done. So this guy over here is now working on those two ships, the Venerable Deal and the Solitary Nightstar. And as they get built, they'll pop out of the little hatch here. Do they spawn in your system? Is that how they... That, okay. Last time I played, they there was little red blips, you know, so I knew that they were there. We'll find out. So new ship has been built. The uh, There he is. There he goes. Oh, he just went to warp. There he goes. He's speeding out there. Look at that. Grandma and Grandpa can't believe it. Back in their day, they, it took months to get just, like, across the street. So he's going to go over here to Yo Game 3 and do some exploring. There's also some asteroids around here, which is going to take us a long time to explore. Um, but these also will have resources for us. This is a rocky ice planet. We like it hot. So that's what we're wanting here. Mining station constructed at that, at the, at here. We now have a mining station. Allows us to gather large quantities of valuable resources. All this stuff here, the Krypton, the Argon, the Kazalon, is all being yanked out of the planet now. Keep building more mining stations. Yes, sir. And there he is. A mining bonanza. We've discovered a strange magnetic anomaly that has caused seismic disturbances on all locations across our home system. As a result, mining for resources has become significantly easier, at least for the next year. All right. So again, you can see little uh, these little guys are shooting out, grabbing resources, bringing it in. Here they come. And then we're going to see some civilian ships coming in here, picking this stuff up and taking it back home. Uh, the the planets and asteroids do not orbit. That's one I, I saw on here. that There is there is no more orbiting. Um so like your planets are gonna, they're stationary. Asteroids, it's all stationary now. I think it was just to save on the resources of well the game in general. We have a top down view, uh, we have a high angle view, and we have a low angle view. In default, so there's no more rotating. Uh, we find it Yogama three. What we get? So this is the ice planet which has a lot of Tiderius. What Tiderius? I don't remember what that one is. Inert gas and weapons, shielding and reactor components has a pinkish tinge. So, it's got a, de a sizable amount. We'll get it. It's got like more than 50% of something. We'll get it. Basically, that's the, the accessibility of that resource. So, get rid of that. We've got uh, discovery at... Oh, here we go. So, now we're starting to mine. Oh, no. This is over here. Never mind. So, Smiza has a little bit of silicon, but not much. 43% silicon. It's not a lot. Um... We'll probably still mine it just because it's... Actually, that's not next to us, is it? Ooh, it's purple. So we'll, we'll put that on the... on. We'll get there eventually, but right now, you know, you know it's not a lot. So we'll, we'll let it play it. We'll, we'll let it go without that. So there they go. They're all going to go exploring. We got some... Here we go. We got some luxury things. So at Gaihepa, we have discovered. Gaihepa is the this Terran planet here. Um, colonization suitability is plus eight, which isn't very good, but we can colonize there if we want. We like deserts. Like this one over here is a, oh, it's a zero. Um, we can colonize here if, when we get colony ships. But this place has Copandil, which you can read there. It's kind of small, but you can read there. We've got plus four colony development, plus one happiness for this resource. Luxury resource. The citizens love it. Uh, we've got Corduva Grain, which gives us colony development and population growth. And we have Bifurian Silk. Again, colony development and income. All things for the people. And you know, I'm a, I'm a lizard of the people. You go right ahead. Get some of that stuff. Who was that? Master Thank you very much. <clears throat> so 
So I want to grab, grab all that stuff. Silicon for our space smartphones. You go away. Okay, let's continue. Uh, also, you can see everything, all the planets in the system are down, down here. And, uh, very handily, we can zoom in here. And we can, like, see... Yeah, that's all, all of these here. At the, at the local system view. Mysterious objects encountered. We have encountered some strange debris. It looks to be biological in origin, very old. It appearances matches ancient description of terrifying space monsters. It seems to be the carcass of one of the huge monsters. We should investigate further. All right. Where? Where do we see that at? Is this a different one? Yeah. Uh, it's got a decent amount of stuff. We got some, some Vafula scents. Oh, my. Uh, there's those MOS crystals we saw before. Carbonite, we need a lot of that, and there is a lot of there, and some polymers, so we're going to go ahead and set up a mine there. And so early on, that's basically all we're doing. We're just trying to get minerals. Just mining things. Pretty close to the sun here. So we'll let it play out. We'll get, let it keep going here. Mostly I'm just waiting for research to come in. This will this will speed us along even more. So we can really get some stuff done. Um, as far as the tech goes. Let's see, where's my tech tree? So, um, once we get... Um, Let's get warp fields. Again, I don't care too much about the stable or the energy deflectors, you know, uh, yet. Uh, we get better engines for maneuvering. We can get something like, if you want to start colonizing things, we can get some expanded uh, civilian ships. There's a colony ship there. We get mining ships. We get passenger and fuel tankers. Uh, we have to get, um, oh, oh, you know what? Is it different? Oh, there it is. Basic colonization that is down there. So it, my tech tree is a little bit randomized. I think these are all pretty set, though. Basic colonization gives us a colonization module, so we can actually start doing that. Uh, exploration scanners are good, which will help us. I'm gonna I'm gonna pop that into the into the uh, the old queue here and put it right there. Because we do have some asteroids, it'll help scan a little bit faster. Um, these basic systems are always very good. Good to have storage systems are also, you know, especially when we start leaving the system. Medical recreation systems. This all leads into new things. Research labs are something we're gonna want, of course. <clears throat> so yeah, it's and and the thing about it is there's so many options, but you can't really get all of them. You got to kind of specialize in in what you're gonna get. Let's just go. What's the old crafty guardian doing here? Let's speed this up. Um, what else do I want? Do I need to show? Uh, the things behind my head here are basically just little tooltips. Like we can zoom to location, zoom to system, zoom to re region. Um, we can see. Any, we can like highlight things. Uh, let's see here. We got like tourism flow, you know, whatever. Oh, oh, here we go. You see all that? Yeah. Oh, these are all the races in the game. So you can see there's a lot more race, races than what we have to choose from. I'm not sure if they're planning on putting all of them in there or what. Um, it's, I'm surprised we haven't found any pirates yet. I'm sure we'll find some here in a moment. And yeah, he wants me to build a constructor ship. Oh yeah, probably a good idea. We probably need a few more of those with all these mines. So what I'm when I'm telling them to mine planets, I'm putting it in a queue. And then the mining ships are going out and doing it. And we've got one state ship, that my mining ship I just put into construction. And we've got one civilian ship, which is, you know, Frank out there, once a hauler uh, there. And they're using the same spaceport, of course. Uh, my construction ship, once it gets built, is going to go do some jobs. We have, um, there's my ships, my two ships. The solar evasion has no mission. Um, what do you mean? Go find yourself a mission, buddy. Oh, you're under construction. That's why you don't have a mission. <laughs> okay, so they're building this guy up. This is my new guy. Um, we'll get more. I probably should go ahead and build another one, actually. I'm going to need it. I got money. A little bit. Not a lot. So we'll, we'll pop one more of these guys in. Just to get them started. Because we got a lot of mining going on here. Now that our, our exploration's going out there. Tech trading is an option. You can turn it on or you can turn it off. I have it on for this game. <clears throat> it's very expensive, I know that much. So there is our new ship. Who's going to go out and do some buildy things? He's going to go make a mining station. Uh, so he's going to refuel first, then, then mine, I guess. Research station is complete. Where's that one at? Um, was that one of these? There it is. That's going to help us. A bit. That's going to help us quite a bit. And and all this, there's numbers everywhere for for whatever you want. Uh, research here, we can see there. So we get 10 from our population research, and we get 32 from research stations, which would be like this guy here. Um, so, but those are those are good things they have. 
Next construction ship, the construction ship is done, so he's gonna go out and do some mining things. Um, most of these things, the old Lonesome Night Star here is just a miner out doing mining things. Transporting cargo, so he's going to the mining spot, picking up some cargo, bringing it back. You can see what he's got in this in his, in his hold as he does his job. And our first task is to explore this system. So again, we're in, we're in. I guess we're past the expanse stage now because we've got warp. So we're, but we're we're just now colonizing our system. We haven't made it out yet. Of course, if you want, you can start. You know, as already a set up empire and all that, but that's just a little bit overwhelming. So overwhelming for me as well. <clears throat> I'm really surprised we haven't seen anybody too threatening. Where did that thing go? The um, uh, exploration. Do we have a? Um, didn't pop out. Um, that, that that whole um, ship out there. I'm not sure where that shows up at. If we have one, so we got we got five of these ships, five exploration ships, and they're all out bouncing around. Most of them are probably hanging out, yeah, at these asteroids. It's kind of a slow go getting these asteroids. Um, and I'd probably rather you go and do something else. You guys are all here, aren't you? Where are you going? Yeah, and you're going in there. Yeah, they're all hanging out these asteroids. Uh, is there anything I don't have? It, don't have. Have you found this one yet? Yeah. This is ocean planet with twenty percent Kazian crystals, which isn't a lot. Um, is that all? Is that everything? That's everything. Yeah. So that's all I really got, like, really got left. So once we get the new tech, though, then they'll start scooting out to other stars. <clears throat> This was a gas giant. Is that, no, it's this ocean planet. I got quiet. No, no music. I got real quiet. So these are our uh, civilian ships and our and our, our state uh, ships. Or, oh, sorry, station. Sorry, station and ships. Um, when we go build a sorry, a ship, I don't have any escorts. We'll we'll get those once we start getting some tech there. We'll see how power works. We'll see some fighting. We are the uh, the lizards, the, the lizard folk. <clears throat> the Nocratiles, we call ourselves. All this uh, is pretty well automated, so I'm not gonna worry about much of this. You can see how that has changed. So we're putting a lot more money into research. This red number means that there's potentially more. If we put more money into it, we would get more out of it. But we're putting our monies into research, which I agree with. Uh, maintenance, we don't have much of that yet, other than our ships we've got in here. There's our government, um, and there's me, and and we have some things. What do you want? You want me to go build a... Um... Oh, I missed that one. So a bunch of castle on over. Yeah, go get that. And you got what? You want to build a research station. Um, where? And you got me six. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Do that. I have a research station over here. Um, to get some uh, more research. Then we build two more construction ships. Oh, our, warp, our warp tech is done. Okay, so since... Do I want two more? Yeah. Fine. I'll do two more. And our warp tech is done. Which means most of our ships are going to come back and get refitted. And then they'll start, start heading out. I feel like Barney lives... Oh, in, in that uh, the purple planet? <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, so now, first, first the star, and next stop, the stars. First contact. Oh, there we go. All right, so we just found some fish, folks. The independent colony of Actarians have been encountered. We have encountered a new independent colony. These are not the main folks. These are just independent folks. They're in the Nilgimun system. Naturally hostile towards us because they're, you know, jerks. We can invade and take over the colony by landing troops, or we can attempt to colonize them by sending a colony ship. We can live with them if we want. Uh, communication wounds have been moderately successful. So where are they at? Uh, hello. He's a little displeased with us because we're not a fish. Um, but whatever. We can we can deal. Once we like him a little more, we can do more deals. These are the... Where are you guys at? Yeah, yeah, you go away. We'll get some ambassadors and things that can deal with all that stuff. So they are... Oh, some traders came in and told us about it. Recent contact with independent traders has, has revealed the location of an independent colony. It is... 
So there's the star. Neil, Go Neil Gaiman? Was that Neil Gaiman? It is. It's Neil Gaiman. <laughs> That's fantastic. So there they are. And there we are. So they're out in that system there. And they got a planet. Neil Gaiman. That's great. So, and there's their planet there. Um... If we wanted to, we could go. You could take a look at him. Try to try to. Uh, we could try to be friendly and live with him, or we can go in there and just attack him and take it. We don't know how many troops are there right now. It is a deep ocean planet. Of course, they're fish people. So um, they may not like us uh, right now, and they may not ever like us. So we don't like them already. Do we find them, or do they find us? You know. Whatever they are, they're just displeased with us. Uh, we found some pirates. So, let's talk about pirates. They are not... Well, this this guy's pretty friendly. Look at look at the offer he's making us. It would be a shame if any of your ships or bases suffered harm. For a small monthly fee of 125 credits, we can ensure that our tricky happy cap ship captains avoid damaging your vessels. So, what a, what a friendly guy, first off. Uh, so, basically, he's a mob. We're paying protection money so that he won't kill us. Um, we have to do that. We don't have a fleet. We don't have anything to attack them with. His, he is named Ghost Fleet. Now, typically, pirates are, you know, just sort of jerks um, in most Forex games. These guys are not necessarily. Uh, he's a human. Um, so, so we could become friends with him in time. Um, but right now, yeah, you know, okay, we accept the deal. We are a coward. And you just said it so nicely. Uh, they want me to build some escort ships now because we know there's, there's bad things out there. Build some ships, the advisor. Eat, leave me alone. Uh, and then we have a gift from Ghost Fleet. How nice of them. We expected accepted the following gift from Ghost Fleet. Protection arrangement for 125 credits per month. What friendly pirates. Couldn't have asked for more. Oh, we have these little tours here to like... This is the tutorial, basically. Uh, like I said, I didn't go through this one. But uh, just words, really. My tutorial was watching... Daz Tactic <laughs> and Tortuga Power. <laughs> so we got new strips getting built, which we saw that pop up. We 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 advise those as good ideas. Um, now the number of like um, independent and pirates factions, I think that's just randomized throughout the game. I don't know. Uh, it has to be. So I don't know. We may get you know a ton of those things. We may only get a few. Who knows? Hey Jeffrey, how's it going? <clears throat> the eye patch really sells it. Yeah. War crime. I'm sure they'll start it. Okay, another another uh, one of these guys to go get some building done. Are we leaving the system yet? Probably not. not yet. I think we'll get a. I think we we'll get a little memo about it. Interstellar. We you know whatever. Where's this guy going? He's going to mine. We've got the tech, so someone should be coming back here to refuel and bounce out there. Where are my exploration? They might still be hanging out at those mines. Leaving, there we go. Crooked Distress is leaving. Oh, we got the Evil Sun Clan. We've encountered a blue pirate faction in the Yogami system. That's my system. The Evil Sun Clan. They're composed of uh, Hakunish. Naturally very hostile towards us. Very unlikely to be useful allies. So, they are, you know, um, hanging out. They actually are not offering me the thing. Uh, yeah, there they are. They're offering, they're saying, hey, do that so we don't kill you. Um, you can see their power level, but this is only what we know about them, so they are maybe a lot stronger than that. Um, we don't. We kind of have to pay it. I don't know where their ship is. Is that them right there? Yeah, there's there's the Merry Challenge. Is That's just a hauler, though. Who's that? That's just an independent... Yeah, some independent ship just showed up. Uh, hello, friend. Uh, I don't know where these pirates are at. Oh, here we go. So he's over here pestering me. Pestering my, my scouts, this guy. The Neil Gaiman Destiny. That's a different guy, though. I don't know. Whatever they're out doing, they're out being jerks. And so we're going to do it just because I'm a coward. But I won't be a coward for long. Just you wait. Just you wait. Who in the right man would call their clan evil? <laughs> well, you know. You're the evil son clan and the ghost fleet. So again, they're like the advisor's like, "Are you sure you don't want to make some escort ships?" Um, like the problem is they're bad. So let's go take a look. Uh, fleet, uh, where was it? This one. 
So like these escort ships, escort threes. We'll edit these guys. They have an attack strength of 10. So we've got a couple little cannons on them. We can make a bunch of them. We could probably fight off a couple of these pirates, but they're probably got like, I like it. Probably around, I could look at them. Probably around 100 or 200 attack. So we can't really do much until we get some sort of tech. We've got, you know, we're out there with like a couple AK-47s like strapped to the side of the ship is basically all we have right now. And I guess it's a little more than that. What is it? Long range cannons. Yeah, that's what we've got. Maybe something a little bigger than that. But it's not going to do much good. So let me loan advisor. We'll get some tech. In fact, we might need to go and do that next. Um, we could get the energy deflectors. That might be a bad idea. Some defense. Uh, we could get uh, countermeasures there. We could go get... Just because I'm tired of getting pushed around with these so these friendly offers. There's railgun weaponry. Point defense. We can go get some early beam weapons or pulse weapons. Torpedo weapons. Huh? Be done in four years. How long does this one take? Two years for some early pulse weapons. Beam weapons for two years. I don't know what we want. Ion weapons. Area weapons. Tracked beams. You know, an interesting way of trying this. I always did this with uh, Match of Ryan. Is you can go in there with like um, ship boarding, assault shuttles, you know. Like we're giant lizards. Why don't we just go and just like, you know. Take some folks down. It gives us some assault pods. I don't know if we need something in addition to this. I'm assuming we do. A ship that can hold an assault pod. Uh, because there's certainly differences in the styles of ships. So, like, our little escorts don't really do much. And I can show this better later on whenever we get more ships. But I'll take a look at the escort here. So this guy, he's got he's got five slots for, for engines. He's got two weapon slots. He's got two armor slots. And he's got the uh, the scanner. Um, and, of course, the, the range of capacity. So different ships will have... Different. So he's got two small weapon slots. Some will have a large slot. Some will have a small slot. You know, that kind of thing. Um, so just having, you know, escort ships are kind of garbage. And we'll get better ones as time goes on. What do you want? Uh, you want to go and mine... Uh, what is this? Build a... Oh, go, just go mine this place. It, so the red box means we we, we need steel. Um, that's fine. It's, it's, it's kind of borderline, but we'll take it. We got a new ambassador. Hey. Hey, buddy. Well, what do you do? Just hang out. All right, yeah, go do what you need. go with whatever you need to do. I don't care. Again, automated. Mm -mm. Probably stay coward until you research true warp drive before building any ships. Yeah, um, I think we'll need some some weapons because we don't want to like anger somebody and then have them send their whole fleet on us. You know, that'd be a bad idea. So for now, we are just, uh, we're going to get these things fixed up. You're surveying. Yeah. Um, can I tell you? I have the latest. Is this one, is this one allowing me to go out? Am I, do I, do I have the right one? Go to that unknown star, buddy. Is he going? Yeah, there he goes. Okay. Go. I'm going to force you to be the first one. Venerable deal. There he goes. There he goes. Leave me alone. To space. What do you mean forgetful? Uh, what do you want? You want uh, another steel planet? Yeah, it's fine. It's just, it, it's an asteroid. We probably don't need to do all the asteroids. I probably should pick that because the uh, the mining stations have like a like a, a, a range if you're in asteroid belt so that one station will get multiple places um, oh yeah another thing I want to point out is um, there is no jump uh, gates no uh, jump gates or, or like jump uh, what do you call it? jump points we can go wherever we want hey we're in Rohan now so we're gonna tell him to go do his thing I think he's already is he going yeah he's on it he found the uh, Kermit planet uh, so, like, if you wanted to, at some point, build a giant fleet. I don't know what's going on with the storms here. Storms over there. Uh, like, build a big fleet and, start, like, sit it outside someone's system and then move it in. That's, you know, that's certainly a possibility. You can go anywhere in space. There's this, this nebula over here. Uh, the nebula, you can zoom out here. Uh, let's go. Nebulas are... Where are they at? Um, I forget. This one. So these are, I mean, the best way of describing them is like they're like mountains. Let's go 
top down view here. So you can try to go through them, but there's different degrees of like galactic storms, which is what that one is over there. We got ion storms and gravi gravitic storms and radiation zones. Don't fly through those. And so they kind of create these sort of natural barriers in space. And so sometimes this one's sort of just rings, but sometimes you'll find like little pockets, like a little pocket of, of stars here like this. So it kind of makes a natural border sort of with, you know, just, just to add some, I guess, dimension to space because space is kind of empty. So that's what those are all about. So he is in the uh, the Ruhan system, old venerable deal here. I'm gonna put him back on an auto explorer, so he should he should stay out there. Yeah. So we'll let him just do his thing now, and we'll get some reports on back what, what's going on over there. Build ships. You leave me alone. Now I could build them, and then we could just upgrade them, just refit them whenever the time comes. It's not much point though. Not all that money we got now though. Uh, in fact, let's let's uh, use it. So what am I getting? Exploration scanners. Yeah. Uh, let's let's speed that up so I can pay nine thousand credits. Do it. Speed that up. We can we can speed it once we get that one top of the uh, of the tier there. Um, I'm gonna get the, the, the civilian ships next. Just because I need to move. We should move along a little bit rather than just sitting in our ones in our one planet. What do you want? Uh, do some mining of some silicon. Okay. Um, again, this is all like... This is all that... Um, I don't want... Uh, Alright, fine. It's probably not wor worth, worth it, but I'll do it. Again, this is all like... They're, they're finding all these... These... We have a mining station. So you can see the range of the right mining station. So I guess the way to game it, I'm not necessarily game it, just the way to do it, is like build your mid station. This is kind of difficult because it's surrounding the planet. But if you get like a nice cluster of asteroids, so he can reach all, this one station can reach all these asteroids. So all these asteroids are, are, are able to be reached by these little drones out here or ships, whatever they are. And um, you can see he's loading up. So then we'll get some, you know, we we'll get some haulers coming in here. Here comes one. And he'll grab this stuff and take it back home. Yeah, some you know that's probably a good idea actually. We should go get. Uh, let me get. I think I'm, I want research labs. We'll we'll tack that one on there. Let's put that one up a little bit. You know, more research, more better. Uh, we're not the most. We're not the most researchy. You can kind of see there with the tooltips. Like we're minus one research speed for this project because we're not really research people. But if it was like a weapon tech. Um, we should be a plus, uh, minus five, uh, plus 13 on our reactors, plus 28 on these guns. So we can research guns. We know what guns are and we're going to use them. <clears throat> so my natural last for, yeah, it's just a, it's like a, a percent, a percent of what you're, the yield you're getting out of each, how easy it is to yank the stuff out of it. I'm going to decline that right now. And he's really bugging me about these escort ships. So we got someone else going over here to Rohan. And he is, um, oh, hey, look at that one. You know what? There's, there's some good stuff over here. So we've got, I missed these, uh, Copandil, uh, and, uh, and some more grain, which I'm not opposed to anything better. That's, that's a bunch of asteroids. Yeah. So this is a good one where you can get, like, get a station in the middle and try to, you know, conserve your, your, uh, maintenance. Like he just got that one done. He must have just finished it. Oh, no, he's got this one done too. Which just has a little bit of argon. Not really worth sending it away out there. Because remember, we can we can do this. However, we're also having to haul this stuff back. But I I come from a time of of um Forex games. There's uh only one way to play, and that's and that's city spam. So that's what we're gonna do. Unholy Patriarch. Thanks for the follow. Thanks, Starbuck. For the follow as well. <clears throat> Sorry, I missed, I missed list's Masterless's question. If this is Dwarf Fortress in space, where is the hidden fun stuff? Well, um, well, we'll find some things. We'll find some things. Look at that. That's the place. This got some steel. Where's this one at? Well, I don't care where it is. Go get it. I think it's MS1. That's the um, 
That's the asteroid belt, isn't it? Or the asteroids around that planet. That's it, but I didn't say what system I wasn't paying attention. So you can see, even though we don't, we don't like really control this, we just sort of get a yellow box around it just for being there. Just to kind of quick, give you a quick look at who owns what systems, what sectors. Oh, oh, we found something. Uh, sure, whatever. We found uh, a Gravelex. So these guys like to hang out sometimes. Uh, this is this is in where? The Ogama system. What are you doing here? Well, you get out. All right, so this is like a little alien thing. A little tentacly alien guy. He's kind of a jerk. Uh, he's got a strength of 336. Uh, which is which is less than ideal because we don't have that kind of strength. Um, why is he in my? I, I'm surprised. This, he must have just like, what's he doing? Hanging out there in the deep space? You get out of here. So he's gonna be a real problem because he's gonna come in and ruin some things. Um, he's gonna come in and try to chew on my ship. I don't have a fleet, so we'll we'll, we'll deal with that in a minute. <laughs> Ruhan, where we find some Tebrakian granite. Not a lot of, not a lot, not easy to get to. What is that? That is, uh, Otendium Opal. This is just, you know, just luxury stuff. We don't care so much about. We do, but not as much as this guy. So he's popped into my system. He's gonna go pick on this, uh, this little, uh, explorer ship. And you can see his strength is zero. He's gonna come chew him up. I'm just gonna keep an eye on it. When he gets close, we'll run him away. <clears throat> and then we'll get a fleet, eventually. Music's getting exciting. He's gonna run away on his own, probably. Yeah, there he goes. He's gonna sit there now. Are you changing your mind? Who are you gonna attack? There he goes. Um, I guess we do have a shortage of that stuff. Not really. It's just so far away. No, no, don't worry about that right now. So he's gonna come chew on my guy, but he should run away. If he doesn't, we can we can tell him to. Um. Yeah, there he goes. He just blinked out. My mining station. Where is it? My mining station. Did my mining station have, have guns? Strength of 45. Well, that's not good. All right. I'll tell you what. These aren't very good. But how much do these cost? I got 105,000. So let's build 10 escorts. They'll all die. Maybe. Maybe not. Let's build those. They're not very good, but they may be enough in the, in in addition to the mining station uh, to do something there. Uh, fleets. So let's look at. Let's see here. Um, we can make our own fleet with these 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 ten ships we're making. These aren't made yet. We're gonna grab everyone, and, and yeah, we can, we're gonna put them into a fleet. And if I remember right, sorry, this is a little, little more sketchy on this. Um, we can command our fleets, and yeah, here we go. We can tell our fleets what to do. Like, you can tell what kind of fleet it wants to be and, and set up how it attacks or if it defends, that kind of a thing. Um, I'm real sketchy on that part. So we'll see what happens when we get these ships out here. Mostly I want to just be a defense fleet, just hang out here. We can manually move them around, and they can go defend this thing as it comes and chews on my space station. He's moving pretty slow. I don't know if we're gonna be all. We're not gonna get them all done though in time. Man, you leave me alone. Okay, we got our first military ship. Excellent. My new escort. Show me. There, he, there. Nope. Oh. Maybe. We'll see him pop out of here. Those aren't them. There he goes. What's his name? Grievous Firestorm. That's a name. That's a name. Hey, 33 strength out of these guys already. Hey, that's not bad. Not bad. We don't need all 10 of them. Maybe we do. We need a bunch of them. So they're going to gather here, and we'll hopefully grab some of these guys up. They're pretty. They're kind of quick, so we can maybe get them over there in time to help out with what's going on over here. But they'll slowly get spat out, and we'll send them off to go do some fighting. And this guy, what's he doing over here? Yeah, here he comes. Man.
discovery at tier. Oh, is that a new system? New, uh, new resources at tier one in the tier system. Grubbing spice. This is a different system. Yeah. So we made. Oh wow! I look away for one second, and we went to every single system in the <laughs> in the region. Okay. Um, in tier, we found what we find over here. What we got? Oh, just a little bit of garbage. That's good stuff, though. It's hard to get, but look at that. 22% colony development, 15 happiness, 5 research. That's good stuff. It's, it's hard to yank out of the ground, but it's... Uh... And it's a sandy desert planet, which means... Not really very suitable, but... It's something. Uh, so he's going to attack my station. Let's go look at a combat, I guess. So there's my, there's my, uh, my planet. We're going to slow this thing down. He's does he is returning fire. I'm gonna bring my fleet in. He's screaming and all that. He yucks to yell. Uh, we're gonna grab my fleets. This guy, and we're gonna bring him. Bring we're gonna bring him in. He'll be here in a second. Oh, we got a hit on him. You can see. Oh, we can't see his strength. You can see his health. That's all he's got. My guy has shields, which is which has been gnawed upon. The armor is getting beat down as he's screaming at me. These guys they aren't really that tough to beat, but I don't have any tech. Send out some more things. Hang in there, buddy. He's getting a little torn up. Hang in there, buddy. You can see his strength goes down as he gets damaged. Oh, what'd you go and do that for? Ooh, little lag there. A lot of lag there. Oh, yeah. Little lags. <laughs> Man, it's gone in the blink of an eye. You, get out. Oh, you blew him up and... No, there he is. Uh, I don't. See oh, he's a he's a civilian ship. Just get out of there. Where's my fleet at? Are you coming? Are you, oh, you're running away. This guy. Remember that protection money I was paying? And around the Barney planet. He's gonna come over here and start chewing on these guys now, too. Uh, where's my fleet? Is that them? Yeah, the evasion. Wait, no. Is that a freighter? I don't know where they are. Where are you guys at? What are you still hanging out over here for? Get over here. I don't care how many of you are. There's what? Four of you? Yeah. Uh, go here. So he's only at, he's still got some strength, but he's not, he's pretty easy to kill. He doesn't have a lot of, he like hits hard, but he doesn't, he's kind of squishy. So hopefully my fleet will, uh, will get over here. And they are, where are they? Is that them? Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, so we've got, what, three? Will that be enough? I don't know. Let's go get him. So here they come. It's fighting time. Is he healing up? Oh, how dare he. He is healing. A new spy has arrived. We can put him on the, our, our other guys. Right now he's just going to be defense spy. Where is he? Where'd he go? There he is. <laughs> get, get over here. If you're out of the docking bay, get over here. What was the game I played? Yeah, I played a game where... What was that? Everything was going fine, and then a space monster came in and just killed everything of mine. What was that? I forget what game that was. <laughs> we got a new Admiral here as well. New ship. And we've got Exploration Scanner Research is done. Ooh, here we go. Okay. Good. 
Uh, deflectors is next. That's fine. Uh, I'll go ahead and it's gonna be cheap to to buy. Thirty four days. We'll pay the 200, 200 credits to get that done quicker. Citizen, thanks for the uh, follow Citizen Outcast. Thanks for the follow. Here he goes. Here he goes. Wait, can you do that? Can you switch to bridge view? You can't do that, can you? Oops. Excellent, that's done. We found some octopus. Rims of the Precursors, that was it. Yeah, yeah, the Master of Orion uh, remake. Yeah. Monster came in and just like, one monster ruined the galaxy. There we go. Get him, buddy. Get him. Don't let him, don't let him discourage you. That red beam of hatred. Oh, man. Gave me a new paint job. A 23 hole. Take that! You dang monster! Yeah, there we go. Okay. Okay. You want some derillium quartz? Um, sure. Kappa 2, where's that at? That's, oh, it's one of these. Way out. So we've made it out into, in all that excitement, we've made it out into, into normal space. Into space, I should say. Um, and I'm kind of just letting the, these guys do their thing. Uh, and, and, and scout everything out. What we got here? This is in Ruhan. I will take... Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and get the mining going there. Sure. That was this one again. What do you want me to do? Uh, over there in tier, you know, fine. I'll do it. It's fine. Take his carcass and get get uh, special resources from it. How do you do that? I know you can do it from like normal ships. I know you can do it from biological things. Is that something? I, I know. Do I have the tech for that now? Can I do that now? Let's get these labs done. Ten thousand credits. We'll do it. We got money. Uh, also, am I in? Yeah. Um, yeah, that's Kazlon's good stuff. That's we need that. That's uh, that's one of those asteroids. I think is what that was. Another escort ship. So we're having these escort ships. They're costing me money. Uh, people like me though. Uh, where are they at here? Where is ship maintenance? There it is. Ship and base maintenance. So we're, that's our previous one, our current one, our projected one. Uh, and you can see we're still making money. So unless you take in the ship building costs, uh, in the the private economy is is fantastic. We're taxing these folks. They're hauling these minerals around for me. <clears throat> hey, Duvelot, how's it going? That's right. We are lizards today. How are we doing on the pl 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 uh, planet population? We started with 2 billion. What are we at now? Still 2 billion? But 2.5 billion. I think we, we gained like 500 million folks here. Look at all these ships just just hanging out here. Um, I want you guys. So your mission, your mission. I'm gonna put you on um, defend. Your fleet template is gonna be a defense fleet, and that's what we were looking at a second ago. So you can come in here and you can you can modify this stuff. So he's like a defense fleet. What's he do? Um, they stay within fifty percent of the fuel range. Uh, they retreat when things get bad. They are they they you know whatever. Uh, how many ships are in a fleet is also a question. So we can see all that. Stay in the same system, you know. All these little AI things you can kind of add to each of the fleets to make sure they do what you want them to do. <clears throat> so they're gonna go get repaired. I had them on manual. That's why they were just sitting there. But now they're on they're on um repair. So they'll go get repaired. Uh, we don't know that. So we have those pirates. We don't know where they're from, though, do we? We still haven't met them. We haven't seen their system out there. What is that? What is that? Oh, a wormhole. Hey. 
Can I tell somebody to go look at that? Uh, Cowering Renegade. You look, you sound brave. Come check this out. Uh, new, new spy is here. Let's check out the spy now. So, we don't know what he does. Uh, does anyone have any skills? No, they're all untested. They're basically just sitting back here playing counter, uh, defense. Counter intelligence. Uh, we can go put them on manual if we want. Or automate, it's fine. And we can tell them a mission to do. We can say, I want you to target the, the evil Sun Clan, and I want you to steal a map. Or, or, you know, pause this. Um, send them all kinds of different jobs. He's not good. So he won't probably do it. We could try to steal a map, which is his best chances at a quarter. Uh, what about this ghost fleet? Yeah, you're not, yeah. You ain't stealing no maps. So, counterintelligence uh, is the job for you, buddy. But I think the longer we have him, or maybe, it's, maybe I don't know if it's the longer we have him or just the longer he does things, the better he will get at things. <clears throat> Yeah, it's a pretty complex forex game. Yeah. Send first fleet to investigate reports, reported threats at the tier system. Sure. What's going on over there in the tier system? We got threats over here. Where's tier? Over here, right? Oh yeah, there's a threat over here. What? Are, what is this all about? We don't know what it is. We have, we're afraid to go there. So you can kind of see as you zoom out, something going on over here. Uh, we don't know what it is, but something. Oh, what is this? In again. Oh, it's a black hole. He found a friend at the, at the, at the black hole. Uh, why don't you, uh, why don't you get out of there? And then go back on Automate. You're getting out. Just get, get out of there. Okay, and then we've got... Is that both... Uh, Cowering Renegade, that's you. And then Crooked Distress. Is this in my system again? At the purple place again? Where are you coming from? All right, where's my fleet at? Come over here. Hmm, some dark hool tentacles, eh? Oh my. Good stuff though. Colony development, population growth. This is all good stuff for making our planet better. And so take some of the crystal. Yeah, we'll build a mine there. How hard is the question? The ultimate question: How hard is this game to get into? It's easy to learn to master. So the game is, has has some very good automation, and so it's not that difficult to get into. Because as I'm, I'm not any sort of master for sure. I'm I'm a newbie, but I got most things on on automate. So anything that's from not you know if I'm not too sure about, I just automate it. and The game kind of takes care of it. So I'm sort of just learning it as it as it goes. So it's complex. It's as complex as you want it to be. Look at this fleet. Look, he's doing, the, he's doing, he's doing the the Nucratilian shake. Well done, well done, well done. Okay. You know, you go go back and do what you want to do. Um. Get get out of here. You did good. Maybe I should leave you guys at this planet. My station got broken, didn't it? Okay, that one's still there. It was one of the... I guess it was... It did get rebuilt. It might have been one of the asteroid ones that we had. That got broke. That got broken. I think that's what it was. These are unexplored. We're out exploring space. We haven't even checked out the whole planet there. <clears throat> Dark Vortex. That's exciting. My. You have the Atreus Squall over there. Which is very noisy. What's this one? Does this one have a name? We'll find new maps from, from folks. Uh, anyone like us? Or should I have Um, So we're minus two with these guys. We, we They have zero power to us as far as we understand. We don't know where they're at. So that's why it says zero. Um, we've honored our protection agreement. You know. Um, oh yeah, you want me to do that? Okay, yeah, go back over there. Go check that out. Might be too much for us. We might have to take off. Maybe you should send exploration ship first. But so with these guys again, they're sort of like a normal faction. Like we could become buddies with them, and we could, you know, trade and and agreements, all that kind of stuff with pirates if we want. 
I mean, we could become pirates, I guess, if we want as well. Completed research in the research labs. Yep. So, uh, we're going to expand civilian ships, and then colonization is next, which I think is a good idea. Let's get some colonizing done. You know, I'm getting tired of being in this one planet. Let's 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 get out of our uh, yo game system and, and get moving. There goes my fleet. Check it out. Scooting along. That's exciting. What's our strength of this fleet? What are we at? We're at 281. There's nothing to sneeze at. I mean, it's not much, but it's it's something. That takes everyone out of my, my system here, so I'm going to have issues there. What was, um... Is that my station that wants me to rebuild? Is that what's going on there? What's this? Uh, that's that one again. Yeah, we'll do it. I think we've got some stuff in Ruhan now. Uh, yeah, over here. we got a lot of stuff going on over here now. Another thing you want to build? Kazlon, Krypton, and Argon. Yep, yeah, we'll do that. So I think what we're doing now is this. Yep. So there's more asteroids over here. It's going to take a little while to get through this, but now that we have... We have the better tech for exploring, so that should go a little faster. There's a mining station here. Uh, for colonization, if we get to that point, right now we have we have Kuhoral. Uh, for new colonies, we've got a few that we that we are in, in sort of looking good. Aloran, thanks for the follow. Uh, none of them are really that good. Plus eight is kind of lousy. Our home colony is what? Is a plus thirty-eight. So, not that because of Kazlon. But yeah, anytime we get Kazlon, it's probably good. That's that's our fuel. Uh, facilities. Uh, we've got a research base now. Can we, um, it'll automate it probably. Let's go see. Are you guys checking this place out? We'll go back in a second. Did you see something scary around here? There was a... I'm taking off now. There, I guess there was a scary thing. I didn't see any fighting going on. Some hidden, jam hidden items in the tier system. Plus three scenery from Smoke Crater of Tier. Wait, that, that's... That's something. Where's this one at? You got a nice smoke crater there, eh? Anyway. Do I have a, um... Yeah, we're, we're getting a mining station there as soon as someone shows up. Which is what we want. Oh, what's this one all about? Oh, that's that one. So, uh, back, back over here in, in Yogin. So we can build um, a new shipper base, like, you know, explore that. We can do it that way. We can go into set colony automation, whatever. We can go into build some facilities. If we had buildable facilities, we could do that here. We can manage our troops over here as well and add in more troops. I think I showed that before. Um, there's a there's there's a lot of little little things you can do. The UI isn't isn't bad. I I, I know from this world's one, like people complain about the UI. Um, and this one, I, I have had no problems figuring out, um, even just sort of getting into the game, figuring out what's going on. Uh, are you... Oh. Go automate. And you. Go automate. We've encountered some cats. There's cats in space. Cats with four eyes. Got a new independent colony of Xenox at Wooster 7. They're naturally hostile towards us. Show me. So look at that mean cat. Okay, so treaties, we can... We can um, you know, whatever. We can negotiate deals with them. We can make them... If they make them like us... Then we can get, like, a trade agreement if they like us more. Um, that one. So if we get to offer a limited trade agreement, uh, 20, we get plus 10 relations. Then we can do that kind of stuff. And we can do it with pirates as well. These are just an independent fella. Um, pirates, independents, we've got our, our ambassador there. And we don't know any real people. Uh, we can we can capture prisoners. You can set up, like, penal colonies, all that kind of things in there. Uh, they're, they're, what, minus two. So, we have contempt for your civilized complacency. Complacency. Not sure what you mean by that. I have no idea what you mean. Get out of here, cats. Where are they at? Uh, Booster, way over there. So some trader probably told us about him. Maybe we might have seen one of their ships. They're at Booster 7, right? That's what it said? Yeah. So there's 400 million Woosterians. And 
Um, again, we could we could colonize and join up with them, or we can go fight them uh, as soon as we learn more about them. But it's cold there, too cold for us. Yeah, we don't want we don't like the cold. Can we actually see what's what's on these places? No. Hmm. So we got the the colonization ships. Will be here in a second, and then we get some new stuff. What do you want? Uh, you want to go colonize uh, that place for some? It's it's a uh, an asteroid. I can keep on telling him yes. If the advisor asks for it, I'll just say yes because otherwise they, they kind of annoy me about it. And it's still reason. It's still um, it's still you know money resources. So it's all good. I don't know what we're gonna colonize though. We haven't really found much. Or was it this one? So the best one we have, I guess we've got this one in. Gaipa. Where's that? It's over here. I'm surprised this isn't better. Oops. So this one's minus three for us. We don't like this one. I'm not, I guess because it's, I don't know, probably maybe G or something, you know. Um, this was, this was not, not the worst. That's over here by, oh, that's, that's this guy over here by Barney. Well, we can change the name too if you want. Uh, here. We only change it once we once we colonize it. Uh, resource to increase suitability. Yeah, that's that's in here. Um, oh yeah, we also have uh, uh, diplomacy. So like, we met some fish people, and we can research how to talk to fish people, which makes them like us a little more. Um, like, if we were to find lizard folks as pirates, they would like us a little more. Uh, let's see, there's colonization. We can find, I think it might be past this one, but there is, you know, colonization boosts and all that, of course. Shock forces. I think I kind of, I kind of want to try getting, like, a, a nice land army. You know, I want to go, oh, um, uh, that sounds like an exciting thing. Whenever, whenever we upgrade ships... It's all upgrading on its own. They're retrofitting right now because we picked up... What did we pick up? Um, I don't know what we got, but we got something. They're retrofitting and adding something into there. So they're already getting a little bit better. Um, and it'll sort of auto-do it. But of course, we can go in there and fix it as we see fit. Yeah, it did go up because 294... We were at... That's troops. 229. Is that what we were before? All right, so this has unlocked the ability to make uh, fuel ships, mining ships, colony ships, which we don't have colony modules yet, and fuel tankers. Fuel tankers for, like, longer range things. We can stick them in our fleets. Uh, the, the game wants me to make two fuel tankers. Yeah, I'll do it. So they can go in and join in with our fleet or whatever. We'll let them sort of do what they want to do. And we're going to get into basic colonization. I'm going to go ahead and buy it for 10,000 credits. Yes, please. We got some. We got plenty of money. I got tons of money. I got too much money. I should be spending it on things. In fact, like, why am I just hanging out here? Why not? Why not come over here and let's go to my old spaceport. Let's go build three more exploration ships. We'll build three more construction ships. Yeah, just three more of each. Spend some money. Get them out there doing some things. Where's my fleet? Hanging out right there. Okay, yeah. All getting fitted up. It's down to 215, I think, because someone's, someone's inside getting fixed up. What we got over here? We want me to make a... Where's this at? This is in tier. We're going to tier now, so that's that's fine. We'll go, um, we'll go over that. Next up after the colonization is the railgun. Is that what we want? We got to kind of decide what kind of, what kind of weapons tech do we want. We got railguns. Uh, we're good at all kinds of this. So plus 38% research speed because we like guns. Um, we could do that. Robotic troops. Ground combat things. Assault tactics. Um, Bonfrey, thanks for the follow. There's ship boarding. I kind of want to try it. I've not tried this before on this game. And so Starfighter Bay also which sounds really cool let's add that to the queue 
and then we'll add in some shipboarding just because that sounds kind of neat too. So boarding, I um, I think it's more like taking, like we could go to a station or whatever and she board the ship, take the, the, the resources and, and get out, that kind of thing. Yeah, we're just now getting to the part where we're starting to be able to get some sort of fleets built up. Speed it up here. Fuel tanker is done. And then because of the way I've got it, it's kind of a slow burn because of the way I set up with pre-warp. But I, I hope that it, it it eases in a little better than what it would if because if I think I think if I had just like thrown us in. Even even on post-warp tech, I think it maybe be just a bit much. It's a bit much for me anyway. Just to like to, to see it evolve a little bit, you know? Kappa? What do we have over here? Anything good? You want to build a, um, that's an, that's a, an asteroid. Uh, that's fine. We'll do it. No, eh, it's fine. Desert Savannah Moon. This is in the Nugdra system. That's good stuff. Lots of steel, lots of Mebnar. Steel Mebnar making our ships. Yeah, that's good. Another fuel barge. Okay. And our exploration ship has been complete, which is one I ordered earlier. And second fleet to investigate the Dark Vortex. I think that's a bad idea, because isn't that like... Look at the power. I don't want to go in there. No, no, no. No, no, let's not do that. That sounds like a bad idea. Okay, so Neil Gaiman over here. I would like to explore this, actually. Can I send... Who wants to go over here? Um, yo, game. Get over here. I want you to go here. I want you to explore. Is it? Explore. Control click. Control right click. Gives me a little more options there. So now he is in manual control because I do that. Yeah, you can do that. Um, yep, keep on making those things. That sounds very loud, isn't it? Tanker done. Exploration ship done. <clears throat> Go explore the dark vortex of doom. It'll be fun. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, game. Okay. Here he comes. Yo Game Maneuver. That's the name of the ship. What a dumb name. But away he goes. So, for tactics, which is something we can see whenever we're in combat or whatever, we can set all this stuff up. Uh, invade colonies. And, yeah, you can set... Again, you can set it all automated, everything. It'd be interesting to try to do that and set up, like, um... Like, play the game just as, like, a pirate faction. Which I know people have done, I think... Someone I've watched has, has done that, where they just set it up as... And they played as pirates. Just a pirate fleet or whatever. Colonization technology discovered. Look at that! We are an hour and a half into the game. We know how to colonize planets now. <laughs> the development of basic colonization. We have acquired the technology necessary to colonize new worlds. Identify hospitable planets. Good candidates for colonies. We should build colossal colony ships. Yes, we should. All right. Uh, the game wants me to provide these guys with a gift because I guess they're not liking us very much. Which, they're displeased with us. I'm a little displeased with them, as a matter of fact. But that's ridiculous. Get out of here. Uh, well, Railgun Weaponry is coming in. You know what? Uh, I guess we've already got a little ways in. Sure, sure. We'll, we'll buy that one. Uh, Starfighters is next. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to change my mind. We'll do Starfighters, and then we're going to do um, missiles. Wait, wait, missiles if you want. Beam weapons. Um, let's get some missiles. Missiles are always exciting. Let's blow some stuff up. Okay, so here they come. 4X, by the way, is the, is the fastest speed. I've been kind of cranking it on there just to get it somewhere. So let's go take a look at this place. So we can see what resources you've got. you got some some Questarian skin and Hutal resin. So there goes my drones spewing out all over the planet there. Mostly what I'm interested in, can you, after you're done with that, survey this guy? Just a random tree. Sounds like the name of one of my ships. Thanks for the follow. He wants to send wants you to send a gift. That's what the railguns are for. That's right. That's right. What do we got here? Uh, Argon at another. I mean, I probably should, I'm gonna ignore it for a little bit. 
Like if it's like under like 50% of like total, you know, that's, I saw that from, I think I was watching Tortuga Power play this. And that was his, that was his tips. And I, I don't argue with Tortuga. By the way, if you're not familiar with Tortuga or with uh, Tortuga Power or Daz Tactic, you should check out their YouTube channels. Because they, they are much more strategically inclined than I am. And, uh, um, if you want to learn the game, they're, 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 they're good folks to learn from. Where are we at here? No Gaiman. No Gaiman. Whatever. Okay, you go. You done? Okay, so now... Survey? Is that what we did before? We explored it. Let's survey it. There's a couple ships they've got there. Sublime luxury. There's a couple frigates. We're just gonna come in and say hello. Don't mind us. Offer a gift? Nope. Um, in Anzat, Vafula scent. Never heard of that. Well, we haven't yet, anyway. Small bush that grows next to the hydrocarbon lakes on carbonaceous worlds. Intoxicating perfume. We'll wait on that. Oh, no, I just said that. On Sutat. Explore all higher levels to reveal these items. Yeah, oh, something there we don't know. We, we don't know what it is. Something exciting is there. Okay, that's in tier. Uh, railguns are done. We'll just take a look at that in a second. Ignore that one. Uh, go back over here to New Gaiman. So, are you going to tell me what is there? Is that, what, is that how we, uh, we, we, we assess? There you go. I just want to get an idea. Wait, you have... Does that mean there is there is no troops there? There's no troops there? Defense strength of 15? Well. Well. And they want me to send them a gift? Outrageous. I think it I think it figure figures in that um like when we give them money, they're gonna use that money to make this to make themselves better. Well, we don't want that. Maybe we go maybe we go take that place. Eh? Take a look here. So what do we get with this one? This one gives us freighters, exploration, passenger ships. Um, if we want to go and attack, there's a resort, a resort station. Mm -hmm. Mining stations. These are all good stuff. Small spaceport, patrol ships, frigates. It'd be nice to have. Troop transports. Must first research ship boarding and basic transport systems. Okay, you know what? We do want the boarding. Um, add that in. And then I want the, what was it, basic troop. I guess we get it afterwards. Once we get the boarding, then we'll get that one. Okay. And then we're going to go, well, you know what, we're going to go take that. We're going to live there. Why should they be living there? It seems like we should be living there. As far as I see it. <clears throat> yeah, I can be a bit demanding. Yeah, I, my last game had a bunch more pirates than this. I've gotten kind of lucky here with only a, a couple. Maybe we should focus our efforts on... I would focus our efforts on those pirates, but we don't know where they're at. Oh, we're at here. Um, displease, displease. What's wrong with you? Troubled by your strange alien ways. Yeah, whatever. They're both minus two. Um, they're nasty. These guys are notorious. You stop it. How do I tell you to stop doing that? Go away. And this is another one of these. Okay, yeah, I see that. That's that one again. We'll get there in a minute. I like to yell at me about things, especially at 4x. You get, you get it a lot. I have a ton of cash. I need to be spending it on this. So let's pay costs for that. Get that one up. So basically, it's just speeding this up. So this is uh, 329 days. Um, we're, the, our, our crash program, what we're doing there, is double speed. Pay money to get research. Mm -mm. Uh, that exploration ship, where was he? This guy, you can go do whatever you want to do now. There you go. Uh, go, go explore that system. My, my, my soon-to-me new system, I mean. Nothing here. So we get a, we'll get a, a ship, we'll stick it with our, with our fleet, and then fly on over here, and... Not that we really want this planet. How do we see how it is? 
Right, it's good. Actarians love it. How do I see if we like it? I think, well, we saw that, didn't we? We saw it in, uh, in here. Um, this one? This one. So it's, it's not, it's plus eight. So it's not very good, but, you know, something. And we're trying to get something. Uh, some Podenthia root. root. I'll take it. You go away. Why do you want me to go to the Dark Vortex? What's so exciting about the Dark... Is this guy trying to get me killed? Uh, Neil Gaiman has all kinds of resources over here. And, uh, this is an Anzat. Sure, that's that one I was yelling at me about before. And this one... Whatever. Go do it. Uh, missile weapon research is done. Okay. Uh, where's this at? This is in BX5... Oh, you game. Okay. And this is this planet here, a volcanic planet. It's actually pretty good. We do have mining station coming in. It's got some good stuff. I got a lot of, uh, a lot of those roots. So, the downside to having it so far away, you know, is we gotta fly it along back home, so it's, it's less profitable. For now. Um, we got the... I do have colonization, right? I do, don't I? Okay, so let's go do that. So... Let's go colonize. We're going to grab this one over here. This one's right out here by Barney. And we're going to go send a colony out there and get some... This place has a severe lack of lizards. And we've decided that that's not going to happen anymore. So we've, <clears throat> we've set it for colonization. It should be building a colony ship on its own. Wherever we are over here. I want to see my colony ship come out. Oh, is that... That's the fleet. Are you building it? You're building it. There it is right there. So the planet is building my colony ship. There's a base there also. So that guy right there, it's under construction right now. We'll follow this guy and we'll go watch him colonize. <laughs> okay, so you go away. We got, we got the... Um, Flying things. It's not giving me... I'm not giving you gifts. Uh, Kazlon in the tier system. I like it. We should get a We should get a planet in the tier system. We should go look over there. Uh, shipboarding is next. I'm going to buy it. We got money. And then we'll get those... Um, where was it? Interceptors, attack fighters, bombers. I like the sound of all this stuff. Once that's done, we can get troop transports, which we'll do. It'd be real nice to have some better... Do I have all the basic things done? I don't yet, do I? Well, those I don't care about. But, like, the basic countermeasures is probably a good thing to have. Let's get the basic transport systems, space commerce. I'm going to, I'm going to line, I don't care about that one. Line up the basic systems and crew systems as well. We'll get this stuff done pretty quick. And then we'll move on to, you know, do I have a ship named Fatal Intimidator? Uh, probably. Is that the name of my colony ship? No, that, that's the Yo Game Prophet. Um, I don't know where we see the name of, of everybody without having to go through. Oh, probably right in here. Uh, well, there's fleets. Yeah, so I put them in those those separate fleets. So they got them. They separated them on its own. Noble princess. And imagine they're putting that on your uh, on your resume. I was, you know, I was I was captain. Of the noble princess. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the different you get different names and you get uh, is that holler from where? Who are you? That's all I'm getting from you. There he goes. Uh, you get different names and you get different ship styles. I think I like the fish people's ships. They look a little better than mine. Mine are a little more... Mine are like boxy. We got min matar ships here. For all those... For all those Eve people out there. Attack by what? The cowering renegades under attack in the Nanta Ra system. Ooh, that's a big... That's a big sun. Wow. That's impressive. Uh, why don't you get out of there, buddy? Are you getting out of there? together. It's like, oh, check it out. It's got like a, oh, neat. Like a pulsar kind of thing going on there. I think it's just a big star. It's like ejecting. Well, maybe it's just a lens flare. Never mind. 
Is that, is that, that's an option. Oh yeah, another thing I want to show is color scheme. So we can come in here, we can say like kryptonite. If you want, uh, let me just move my screen around. So if you want kryptonite, it uh, you get a nice, a nice little blue look to it. Let's look at something here. See, we got some blues in there. Ooh, that's nice. That's nice. Uh, we can go in. We can change this. I got sidetracked because I was going to look at the lens flare, which is in here somewhere. Like if you want to go full on, you know, JJ Abrams, you can do that. But we'll leave it. We'll leave it as it is. Um, so that was uh, Kryptonite. We can do like Crimson Constellation. I'm gonna reset my screen. Okay, good. Ooh, nice and red. Very, very red. I kind of, you know, I kind of like it. Kind of pinkish. Yeah. The inventory ships are made from rust and duct tape. Yeah. Okay, get up, go back on automating. Uh, how is my fleet looking? So we can combine these fleets. Now that it's red, I'm not, I'm not liking it. So <laughs> I'm going back. Oh, hang on. I'm going back to that that uh, the other one. Let's go to. Oh, what's molten lava? Kind of orange to it. Okay, okay. What else? What else we got here? We've got aquamarine, Ooh, blue, and naval blue. All right, all right. Um, and what's the last one? The last one was colorblind assist. I'm not colorblind, so I don't know how uh, this helps. But there you go. I liked that kryptonite one the best. Yeah, that one. I like that one. That's good. That's good. Okay. Um, he's running away. We got a new colony founded. I missed it. I missed it. I was too busy playing with colors. I missed it. So our new colony is here. There's 30 million people here. I can't believe I missed it. Because I wanted to show off the colony ship sitting outside my planet, loading up on... Um, on, on on passengers and flying over here. Look at all these little spots all over the place already. So 30 million people who live here and we've got some troops which is building right now. Uh, can I put anything else in here? There's no buildings to make there. Colony automation, we can set all that stuff up, you know, but we're going to leave it as it is. Um, tax rates uh, at 0%. Uh, how are we doing here? Let's go into colonies here. So they are satisfied. They approve of the, of the tax rate of 0%. I would too. Mostly underdeveloped. So it's just going to take time, you know. Some corruption losses. We're just basically paying to fix this place up. Uh, let's see here. Is it, no, no one's on... on Okay, everyone's on automate again. Back back to exploring. So you can see this place is making me some money. This place is not. Uh, I want to get a, pl a colony. Of all the places, I want to get one over in... in Was it Emir or whatever it was? T uh, Tier here over here. Is there a good place over here? There's a lot of planets, so it's probably a good place to have a colony. But I don't know that we have anything that's really worth worth getting. Uh, of course, we can see that on this. Uh, this one. Uh, that's a good one. Nantare, that's where that, that's where that um, monster was. That's real good. Hey, look at that. It's got rings as well. Okay. We don't know what's there. Wait, no resources? There might be other things here. Let's get... Uh, those things aren't so tough. Let's get a fleet over here. First fleet. Get over here. This planet, we're going to colonize. Let's get it. Found something at Kappa. We found... What was that? Echorus meat. Yeah, these Terran plants always have um, meat and things, or uh, luxury things. We also got some carbonite here. So go away, go away. We just, this saying first time we've seen that stuff. Uh, what do you want? Build a fuel barge? Okay. Yeah, we found steak. First we found steel, now we got steak. We're going in the right direction. See these planets here, these are kind of garbage. Look at this thing. It's got 9912. It's like, you know, extravagant pride. 
This is a bad system. Savannah Moon over there. It's possible that... Where's that one at? Um, where was it? Oh, way, way over here. I'm really surprised we haven't seen much of anything else other than these guys. It's way over here. We know there's a bad guy there, but we'll shoot him. Oh, there's that meat. Yeah, fine. We'll, we'll get it. Um, we're not giving him a gift. We're going to go kill them. We're going to buy the ship boarding. I think I already did, didn't I? Yeah. Yep, next up, potatoes and some carrots. We'll be set. Oh, we're lizards. What are we saying? What are, we, what are, what are lizards like? Crickets? And we've got critical research failure. Our scientist, Sarik, uh, has been pursuing the wrong path while researching system patrol ships. What an idiot. His mistakes have set back progress on the next project. Existing research is canceled. New ideas are investigated. That guy, fire him. New fuel tanker is done. Which we can fire him if we want. Uh, what was his name? This... This guy? So we can see... Oh, oh, so he's been around long enough. We get, we get numbers from him now. So he's good at high-tech research, weapons, hyperdrive, and sensors. So he gives us a little boost to that kind of stuff. We've got this guy over here also. Oh, Sarik's the one who was, who's the idiot. Hyperdrive sensors and shields bonuses. Um, and just, just sort of as they hang out, I think that we start learning about them. Uh, there's my ambassador. He's fine where he's at. Um, and there, there's me. I don't think, do I? I don't, I don't think, it's not like, you know, uh, Stellaris, no, no one's dying or anything. I think he's good. He's there for good. We can kick him out though, right? I'm not sure what happens if we do that. Um, there's a good one. That's in, um, hang on. That's a good one. We'll go to that second. We have discovered a buried ancient battleship. Ancient ruins from a lost civilization at the mangrove forest planet Kappa 4 of Kappa System. Should we investigate? Yeah, let's do it. Uh, during your exploration of Kappa, a sudden earthquake reveals part of an ancient buried ship. Uh-huh. A bit more investigation suggests that it was once a remarkably large warship of human design that landed or crashed on this planet and was buried during the previous seismic activity. This activity is go ongoing while the aftershock continues. Exploring this wreck is extremely dangerous. Further exploration is clearly of great interest. Two realistic ways to proceed. We can attempt to stabilize the area or wait until it subsides. Which path will you choose? Spend 20,000 credits to stabilize it. Yeah. Let's do it. We've recovered a new technology. We've recovered found technology that has advanced our understanding of hyperdrive technology and long-range sensors. Quick action succeeds in stabilizing the area. Ancient remains you discover throughout the ship suggest that the arrival of the surface on the surface of the planet was unplanned and sudden. Sorcerer shows indications of battle scars as well as crash landing. Recovered fragments indicate that this was once a SRS Liberty, battleship of the human solar republic. Eighth fleet. 800 crew, 200 marines. Okay, where is that at? Oh, it's the, it's the state planet. Okay. Excellent. Uh, I, I accept. You get out of here. I'm not giving you a gift. Uh, I'm not going to explore the place either. What do you want? Stop telling me that. And you, uh, yeah, that, I do want to do that mission. And this is the ship boarding research is done. Assault pods is done. Let's go and get this one. Uh, is that what I wanted to do? No. Uh, whoops. System patrol. Why, am I doing that one first? For frigates? Uh, yeah, whatever. Fine. We'll do that. And then we'll get the basic stuff. Is the steak human? One <laughs> uh, <laughs> of my games all in cannibalism. Critical research breakthroughs. Uh, Sarik, hurrah! He finally made up for it. Made up for it. Good job, buddy. Good job. You're not fired anymore. This is another good spot here in the Anzat system. Something else is attacking us. This is in... Oh, yeah, this is over here. So our... You... Yeah. Let's get him. This is this fleet. Are you attacking him? Get that guy. He ain't so tough. We're not scared of him anymore. Don't let him scream at you. So you can kind of see that you can get a, a rating here. So he got through our ship, uh, our hull, and our shields are down. We're down. And we're blasting though with our with our new guns. You see our new guns shooting in there? Our new rail guns we got. Nicely done. More about Paul there. We didn't, we didn't like the guy anyway. What are you doing? I ain't not doing nothing. We found Saipan. We got a plus 10 scenery from a Grand Mesa Highland over here. It's not a bad place. Nice desert. 
This is in Saipan. Ooh, look at all these different. This might be a good spot. You know what? Yeah, you know what? Let's, let's stretch our legs. Let's go do some colonizing. Plus, it's pretty. There's a mesa there. This is in Kappa again. We've got... Uh, this one's actually nice and suitable to us. Desert Savannah Moon. It has some succulous wood. And some Wyconium. Let's do it. Let's colonize. I don't know... Um, I don't know strategies in this game, if that wasn't clear already. Um, so, there you go. We're going to do General has been, has been hired as well. Like, you know, too many planets. I'm sure I'm building too many planets at one time, but... I want to see my my colony, my, my empire grow. Population has grown. Check it out. We've got uh, we're at three point we're at three billion people. Three point one billion people now. We've gained a billion. There's a billion new lizards in this in space now. <clears throat> Reduce. Yeah, I got some. Uh, I I made that background screen a while back, and um, I still need to work on my name list. You're right. I just hydrated. I'll do it again. All right, so <clears throat> we're back at this point. Our fleet's coming in. Let's go ahead and do what I was going to do here before. Um, we got that one coming in. We want to go grab. Do we know what that other one is yet? That one. Uh, yeah, we got it marked already. So we're going to go colonize that. And we'll take out these guys in a minute. You say 21% of the planet is, is low. Is What should I be looking for? The free glare is always worth it. <laughs> uh, I'm not investigating that vortex. You want to go? Yeah, we'll go get that mission. And uh, the shipboarding research is complete. Let's go get system patrol. Which I don't know why. I don't remember putting that one on there. But do that one. And then we'll just roll on through here. And it's in Yo Game. It's one of those, those uh, asteroids. I'm not giving them a gift. Oh, the battleship. Okay. Yeah. Investigate. Spend the money. Got it. Kappa. Assign that one. Okay, here comes the fleet. Uh, nope. Is that the colony ship? Oh, oh, oh. Is that the colony? That's the first fleet. Um, I want to show... We'll get there in a second. I want to show the colony ship getting loaded up. Is it? Is it been built? Has it been built, I should say. Um, taxes are too high, they say. Well, they can get over it. Okay, so let's see. Where is it? Have you built the colony ship yet? Yeah, where is it? Research facility. Where? Where's my colony ship? That's those guys. Is he already out there flying out there? Decrepit quest. I don't know. He might be already on his way. Yeah, I think he's already on his way. Bummer. I want to I want to show you the colony ship because it's so exciting. What do you want? A uh, a research station at Kappa Four. Yeah, we'll do that. So you can only put your research stations at certain spots, only at places where they actually do you any benefit. So, yeah, that. So yeah, anytime we get that option, we'll do it. Uh, we'll take that one in the Typhoon system. I don't think I've seen that before. They want to make they want to make stations. We're gonna go for it. Uh, this battle is going on right now. We've we've encountered another. Alien race, the human, human called civilization, the combined Tyranation. Where? Where do we see these filthy humans at? Do we know where they're at? Is that them right there? Oh yeah, yeah, there they are, right there. How did I miss them before? Let's just have a. Do they have a ship in here somewhere? Let's go take a look. So the combined. These are. This isn't a an actual like real um faction this is not a uh independent or pirates or whatever these are real folks so they're displeased with us because they don't like my government they don't like feudalism they don't like my strange alien ways and they don't like my limited experience so we can you know change what we want to do with these guys but we're gonna go and just have a chat hey buddy um no treaties right now because we we don't have any of that um negotiate a deal like let's say i I would like a territory map worth some credit. I don't really care about that. We could get some tech from him. Basic targeting. We can give him stuff. 
Um, we have nothing we can get from him. I can show him the location of where that ancient battleship is. I'm not going to do that, so never mind. We'll let him just sit there and, and shake at, at himself. I don't know where he's at, so we just know he's out there. He's got... That's Ghost Fleet. Um, I don't know where he is at. I guess we'll just sort of find him... As time, it's like those like those pirates. We'll just sort of find them as time goes on. Like there is a ghost fleet uh, ship out here somewhere, but um, not not their their planet. So the battle's going on over here right now. We like warped into the sun here. I'll watch this battle. Uh, the tour is is the. Um, the, um, the, uh, uh, what am I trying to say? Uh, tutorial. Don't crash. Oh, yeah. It's gonna blow up. Wait for it! Don't crash on me again. Okay. He just winks out of existence, <laughs> I guess. Okay, we're gonna, it goes away. We got, uh, the Grand Maces over there. Yeah, we like that. We would like, we want to have that. This is what you said. Quality 21%. You know, I, I'm fine. I always want places. Gotta spool up those, de yeah, those dead animations, yeah. Articulate those splines. Alright. There, there was a fight over here. There was no longer a... F is there still... It's gone though, right? right? It's, it's acting as if there's something else here, so I'm going to tell you guys to just hang out over here. Hang, hang out at the planet, because that's where we're going to be flying at. There's another, oh, there's another one. Go chew him up. I'm not giving him any gifts, either. Blast him. Got him. He ran away. I guess. I guess he got hurt. Is there any more? It says there's still some strength here. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I'll tell you what. You first fleet. Just hang out at that planet. And when our when our colony ship shows up, we can do a little. Um, well, just hang out there for a minute. Uh, you want to build seven? Oh, oh, okay. We got frigate tech done, so we can build some frigates. Build seven frigates, he says. Uh, the colony ship has been completed. Excellent. We got some succulos, whatever. We we saw that before. In Kappa, uh, we got some more. Uh, this in Kappa, we have system patrol ships done, uh, which gives us a frigate. I'll show the frigates right now. Let's go into ship construction. So before we had the uh, little escort ship, and now now we have frigates. So we'll show the difference here. So escort ship. This is escort five now, by the way. They've been refitted. Uh, and you can see, I got like two. Uh, actually, it has two medium guns on them right now, and ion engines and all that. Um, we can come back here though, and we can see the frigates. Some weird going on with music here. Uh, and he has five gun slots. Two of them are empty. We can put things on there if we if we wish. Um, let's put on. Let's railgun it up. You know, uh, a little too big, so that big that's a big railgun. Let's put on torpedo? Yeah, yeah. More torpedoes. Oh, that's okay. That's a big gun. That's a small gun spot. So I can take you away though and still fit it? Yeah, so let's put a big plasma torpedo on there. I think we need that one on there. Let's do a railgun. Yeah, lots of railguns. No no too much. Top speed is lower than average for military ships. We're gonna be a little slow, so we're not gonna. I'm not gonna touch any of this stuff, but that's how we can adjust that kind of stuff. Uh, all these basic ones you can adjust as well. Like if you want less fuel cells, you can do that. You can change those out with whatever basic cargo base. You know, you can change everything on this. Um, I won't be. So uh, they want to build some frigates. I say you go for it. You want seven frigates? Then we, you do it. Colony ship has been built. There he is. We get to catch it this time. So he is, he is around Coral. And as you click on him, you can see here in a minute, he got 23, 24, 25 million passengers. And there he goes. He's taken off. He's filled up. 
30 million passengers, and away he goes. And he's speeding along into whatever system over here. We have the fierce pirates we've encountered. So many things are happening right now. All right, so this is a new pirate faction in the non terrain system. Um, these guys are, um, are, are the same race as me, which means we'll get along with it a little better. We think. They're still displeased with us. You know, we're still, you know. But in time, we may like them a little bit more. Also, I'm not quite as concerned about pirates anymore. Maybe I should be. But not really. They're in the Nanta Ray systems where we see them at. I don't know where we actually see them, though. Is that it? That's me. Yeah, that, that's my, my fleet. I'm not sure where we... S I don't see the ship. We, it says we see him over here, but I'm not sure where. Oh, there it is. There is somebody. That's the humans, right? Yeah, there's the Tira Nation. These are the, the humans. Exploration ship over here. Uh, they want me to pay him for protection money. I don't know how tough they are. And so, just in case they're real mean. I already did that one. Then, um, I'm going to say yes. I do want to start fighting some folks, though. We'll do that in seconds. I mean, maybe fighting some humans, actually. You know what? My fleet's right here. They have an exploration ship right there. Let's get them. I want my fleet. We're just, um... We're just itching. Itching to kill something. So he won't like this. We're gonna fly over here and blow up one of those backs. This is the way we, this is the way we show our our superiority. We um, we go kill a uh, defenseless ship. So we just warped over there. Frigates are being built. He's over there just minding his own business. Outrageous subterfuge. Can say that again. How's he feeling? We've blown away his shields, his hull. Is down to 98. No, oh, we got away. That guy doesn't feel so good. Uh, hey, you guys go be on auto. Uh, okay, go get fixed up. Uh, yeah, we'll go get that. Mining, we found some fancy gems here in, uh, in uh, Endenur. Not a line. New frigate's been completed. Or here's our new frigates. And they're going to be a new fleet, I think. Uh, not yet. Once they get built. Uh, no gifts. And that one goes away. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's, that's, a, that's a common name for... Um, uh, like Aurora 4X, also, is like the Dwarf Fortress in space. Uh, mostly just because of the complexity. That's what it means. It means it's complex. And there's just there's just a lot going on, you know. We all have a story with um, our ships and all that. And we are building that planet, aren't we? Colonizing that place. More frigates are done. How many are we building here? We should have another fleet coming in in a second. The Black Nova it has a strength of 95 versus my little guys, which is, which is, where's my other individual guys? Are they 95 as well? 88. Should be a lot better than that. Frigate is done. What do you want? You want me to go build a frigate? All right. If you want me to build some, some warships, I will do it. Uh, we're working on some other things here. Let's. We're working on all of the basic stuff right now. We're gonna get those out of the way. Uh, did I get the? Did I get troop transports? I didn't. Let me. Let's get that up there. Okay. Well, we'll put it. We'll put it there. Okay. 
encountered a uh, Vorticar space monster in the Stinus system. Vorticars seem to be large silicon-based organisms that can survive in the airless vacuum of space. They appear to feed on the metallic minerals found in asteroids, but we suspect they are equally happy to eat any passing spaceships they are able to catch. Look out for those things in asteroid fields in the Stinus system. Over here. There he is, right there. Like a like double music going on there for a second. There we go. So we got a little e exploration ship here, the Solitary Night Star, and this guy. Is there two of them? He's just like hanging out there. It's pretty tough. Rank like five to seventy-eight. We could probably go shoot him with our fleet though. What do we have over here? Already colonizing over there. That's good stuff. Uh, so this is to investigate those threats. We want to send a fleet over there to do that. Second fleet. Um, they probably can handle it. What are you doing right now? Just a bunch of escorts. Oh, there's frigates. Oh, there's. Oh, right, right, right. Um, <clears throat> I forgot. So. These are set on attack. So our template here, they're on a, they're an attack fleet, which means that they're gonna have, well, some escorts, six frigates, destroyers, cruisers, and so it's sort of like a it's like a set thing, which we can we can adjust if we want. Um, maybe. I mean, why not? Sure, go investigate. Yeah, I'll take those, and we got that. I'm not going that one yet. Hey, Mark, and how's it going? Take that one. Countermeasures is done. And a new frigate has been completed. We're, kind of, we're just playing the, the tooltip uh, game right now. Carbonite, sure. Let's get it. Yeah, you go away. Uh, yeah, I'll take them off. That's another asteroid out there. Which, you know, if they want to do that, I probably could use some more call, uh, construction ships. I keep doing all these missions. And I'm sure I have a lack of construction ships. We've got a sizable amount of them. That one needs to be on auto. Oops. There you go. Um, I'll build like... Let's do uh, a couple more. Okay, new colony has been found. There we go. 30 million lizards here. In the, uh, in the, the ca cavernous, cavernous, I think that's what it was. Do we get two of them? Saipan and Nantare also got theirs done too. And that was this guy over here. I like this one. We are, we're like, uh, like five minutes before. So it seems like it auto saves quite often, which is good. Uh, we, we meet the humans yet. We did. Humans are angry at us. We, we, um... Upset because you attacked our our military ships against our mil. It wasn't military, but against that ship. And uh, that's only minus five though, so he doesn't mind that ships getting attacked that much. Okay, we're working on countermeasures. Yep, yep. Uh, did I get the troop transports? I want that one done and moved up the list a little bit, like that. We probably should work on some like better space ports and especially like resort resort stations are supposed to be really good. So let's get some of those, um, and uh, and and continue on here. I don't remember exactly where, exactly what was going on, or where we're at right now. Forgets being made. I think we sent some folks over. Yeah, we sent some folks over here to go check that out and to go investigate that. Oh, I'm not going to the dark vortex. Gotta do that. Thanks, Bot Ross. So we'll let it uh, we'll let it play here a minute, and we'll we should be caught up with what we were doing here a minute ago. I'm not giving you a gift, and you want me to build one more frigate? Got it. I know where we're at now. Where's the the Ed uh, Edner Edner system? Oh, it's right here. Is it a good system? What do we have over here? I will do this. I think. Yeah, that's fine. Planet. There's a lot of planets in the system. They're not 
They're not the great... Well, the ones that we know of aren't the greatest. We don't know very many of them, though. You can see there's... That one's got a decent... Like, a little bit of stuff, but not much. It's kind of tiny, I guess. This one just has those crystals. And this guy we are looking at right now... It's got, like, a little bit... It's not very available, though. So, I'm not too concerned about it. Can't dismiss it. Dismiss that. And as long as we can pay for everything... So our, um, you can see what we're paying for. Our ship maintenance is seven, 7,000. Ship and base maintenance, so that'd be like, well, ships and bases. Uh, troop maintenance, which is just folks hanging out on my base. Um, am I, am I paying tribute? Oh, I'm paying tribute to those two pirate factions. You know what? I'm not scared of the pirates anymore. Not anymore. Um, let's go, let's go have a chat with the pirates. Let's pull this up. So... These, these, these guys, they call themselves the Fierce Pirates. Okay. Um, you know, whatever. Whatever they want to call themselves. They are angry at the humans. So we could potentially get them to like us in, like, non-aggression pact. We could get them to even fight with us against, like, the humans or whatever. It's something we can eventually do. Uh, these ghost fleets, they're just plain evil. So I'm going to... Where did I break that agreement? So I want to cancel that. I'm not paying you my money anymore. I need every, every money. I, I, get out of here. We will miss those monthly credits. Perhaps we will find other ways to obtain them, he says. I think that might be a, might be a threat. Uh, and then the evil Sun Clan. Maybe we'll do one at a time. So the guy with the eye patch, he might come and get kind of angry with us. That was, that was Ghost Fleet, who is right there. It's just one ship, though, I believe, right? I don't see Izzy over here. That's me. Oh. Is this him? There he is. Oh, it's, oh, it's their base. Their base is right there. Strength of 680. Tractor beams, ion cannons, intimidator surge blast. That's intimidating. They also have some interceptors and things. With a strength of 680, though, uh, what's my fleet at? Where are my fleets over here? I mean, with, like the two of us, we could take that. I'm not scared. You know what? We haven't done any fighting yet. It's time we fight. Hang on. Oh, we found the Vorticar. Oh, right, right. The Vorticar over there. Okay, so let me pause real quick. So, yeah, you can go do that. Uh, this is the Vorticar chewing on, on somebody. He should run away, though. You. Yeah, here he, here he comes. Uh, just, just get away. And then we've got a uh, uh, research... Done. Go away. Okay. Under attack. That one goes away. We've got countermeasures done. We've got frigates being built. We've got things in that system. And more succulous wood and wyconium. He's going to fly away, hopefully. Hold together. Hold together, game. There he goes. Okay. Um... Oh, a mining station. Attacked by the black... What? By who? You. You were at the black hole and you came... F Is that just your name? Your name. Well, I'm trying to go kill something else. What are you doing here? How am I supposed to go fight something else if you're going to go and attack me here? Alright, we'll send... Who's closest? Where are you guys at? I mean, you're all way out the other way, aren't you? Oh, you're going that way. You're going there? Yeah. That's fine. Continue your movement, and then I'm going to move you again. That one, and then that, yeah. Um, sure. Okay. Um, I got, I got the bays and all that, didn't I? I want to look at this with our fleet. So, like, I've got these bombers. Just, just a, oh, just a little bomber. Uh, okay. I want to look at. There's our interceptors. Do we have a ship that can like hold these things? I don't think a frigate can can have that kind of a bay. Oh, 
All the stuff that we can, all, all, anyway, show this real, all, the, all the stuff we can ma we can make is up here, and all the stuff that can, is on the ship is down here. So we need something that can can hold those fighters. Some sort of a fighter bay would be the thing. I'm not sure really where we pick that up. I suppose we'll just figure it out. Oh, there's our colonization. That's what we were looking at before. So we do want to get something like the continental colonization. 61 years. I researched that thing. Okay. So we're going to run these guys over here. Oh, man, everything's going. <laughs> I got mad at everyone. Pirates are attempting to raid my mining station. Where is this at? That one's done. Uh, I'm sure go do that. That is at... Is it here? I missed where it was happening at. Yeah. So that's that. That's those pirates we saw. Whoops, 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 whoops. You guys go deal with... Yeah, it's this guy. Wherever he's at. There's their base. Where are they actually hitting me at, though? Right over here? Yeah, in these asteroids, they've got somebody over here. So, go here. I don't actually see there. I just drop him off and run. Oh, here he is. There he is. That's mine. I don't know. I guess they dropped him off and ran. Fuel tankers. Sure, we'll make those. We're not giving him a gift. Our base raided. Yeah, go away. Uh, colony founded. Excellent. And frigate. It's him, right? There he is. There he is. Okay, so my, my mining stations do have a strength of 63. Not very good. They're a strength of 129, which isn't that tough. He's shooting at my little fighter here. Um, Grievous Fighter Storm. Fi fire that guy. Where's my fleet at? Yeah, just, just get in here and hit this guy. Then we'll go hit that base. He's not going to survive this. He's got some shields and armor and all that. He's attacking my mining station right now. We're fighting back. Here comes the fleet. That guy. Oh, they have a few of them. Look, they got three ships in here now. Where's my other fleet at? I had two fleets, right? You, where are you at? You guys are close by, though, right? Third defense forces here. Now. Let's go ahead and bring them in. Okay, one down. Boom. That ship is disabled. Boom. Okay, take that. Now. What's that? It's just a little hauler. Now we take it to him. Get out of here. Where else are we get attacked? Was there another one coming in? We'll worry about it in a second. We're gonna go. We're gonna go um, attack their base now. See you, Skull. Thanks for hanging out. Tanker's been done. And do you want me to go mine that? Go do it. And sure, go mine that. Okay, so we're hitting the ANZAT system because this is where their base is. Or a base of theirs is. All of you over here. This is a ship in where? Oh, the pirates are here now. In in my... Oh, it's, it's a Neil Gaiman. Neil Gaiman. Uh, he'll run away. There's a couple of them there. These are all this, uh, well, he died. Or he got away. This is all those pirates now. They're kind of all over the place. I'm going to suspect they are, well, that's that's way over there. So we'll see where they are in a second. Desert Worlds 1 was one of the best 4X space games. Automation and private corp AI was the best. Yeah, it really kind of sets it apart from, from the other space 4X things out there. 
There's a ship there. They're they're doing something with this planet here. We have met someone. Else. So much happening right here. I'm just trying to shoot something. We got a new pirate faction in the Indener Indener system. Are these are these guys. Um, they don't like me at all. They're diabolical. Wow. Okay, and they're gonna offer protection money. They 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 very tough. I can't really afford multiple things. So, I will do it, but I'm not happy. Let me give him a gift. Alright, so let's get my fleet over here. That's, uh, that's that black hole thing coming at me. My mining station, by this point, might be able to defend it. There's an escort ship over here. Oh, what are you doing there? Did I tell you to go there? Are you just flying through? Look at them all. They're, they're tougher, too. Hmm. Third defense force. You guys are just moving. Are you supposed to be moving there? I don't want you to go there. Did I hit yes on, at some point? Don't go there. Um, come down here. Okay. Hey, Gavin Hawk, how's it going? All right, so we're gonna we're gonna sort of mount our fleet up over here. Where are you going? Whoa! <laughs> Wait, they oh they're popping in right now. Okay, you know what? No need for uh for yeah, I like it. Why why think when you can just jump in and attack? Get in there. Okay. It's kind of automated, so they, they, they see attack and they, they get them. So we got some... Uh, that's me. We've got their station right here. And we've got like one ship right there also. The Raging Extractor. Which is what they're attacking, which is why they jumped in. Hey, go away. Yeah, yeah. So under attack. This is going to be kind of difficult. Especially since we didn't go in together. This guy's going to get pummeled. Hole's still holding together. This guy's holding together fine as well. He's getting out of here. I don't know that we can do this. Are all three fleets here? Yeah, we got all three here now. They do have... That's me. That's them, the little skinny ships there. I haven't really done anything to him yet. It's there we go, there we go. Now we're getting in there. Start blasting. We got some frigates in here too. These are escorts. Where's my frigates at? Here's our frigates. Big guy. Getting blasted. We got we got though some shields are down a little bit. What's this? Raided our base and our mine says they stole money. Outrageous. Here they come. Finally we have more ships in here. We would a lot better if we would actually attack them all at the same time. Instead of like a like a bad action movie, one at a time here. Okay. That's, not, that's not only the first one down, I think. A few of us have run away. It's only the first one we've blown up. Are we getting anywhere with it? We're getting we're getting there. We've met someone new. Uh, uh, big, big timers. Here we go. We got the shields almost down. Shields are getting low. Why are they, why are they growing? Hit it with missiles. It's going the wrong way. Uh oh. I think there's too few of us now. We can't. We can't. Oh no. <laughs> it's going the wrong way. Fire your dang missiles at it. Build some ships, it says, for 50,000 credits. Oh, it wants me to build two trade. Oh, yeah. I want to build all that. Okay, under attack by folks. Uh -huh. And transport research complete. Okay. Yeah, we need to get out. Okay, everybody. Um, get out. Where's my... Get my, um, Get out. Get out. Get out.
you. Get out. Get out of there. You're tearing us apart. Oh man, we were oh we were so close. Aren't you leaving? Oh, you're dis oh you're disabled. Oh no. <laughs> well. Um I I I like the uh, the attitude. Build more ships, says my uh yeah, yeah, we should do that. Uh in fact, why don't we go look at getting something a little bit better? So we've got little frigates. Where do we get something better? There's space stations. There's improved frigates we can get. Uh, yeah, I think we should add that to our list. Heavy frigates, fast frigates, fleet frigate. Uh, they don't have any... You can see the, the numbers there. That's what I was trying to show you before. Uh, weapon engine. That shows you how many slots they have in each one. They don't have any hangers yet. I don't know when we get hangers. That's what I would like. There's interstellar destroyers. It has a hanger. It has a large hanger on it. I would like one of those. What do you guys do? If I get this, we can put bombers or something on it. That sounds exciting. So let's let's do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put you on there, and I want you now. Let's get it. How much money is it gonna cost me? Eighty thousand credits. How long does it take to get? It's gonna take me twenty eight years to research. 80,000. I mean, we got the money, I guess. Let's do it. We need we need ships. So, let's get it. 80 grand. It'll be done in how many turns now? It'll be done in 14 years now. Anti-shield weapon research. That would be a good idea as well. Or just bigger ships. So, we got a problem over here in... Uh, where was that... Where's that guy picking at me at? It's over here in, in Anzat. No, it's in Neo Gaiman. That's, that is an Anzat. Wait. Oh, yeah. You can't get out because you're broken. Yeah. You guys are all broken. Um, run away. Ah! Get out! Happy to drive offline. He's inching away. Oh, we met the, the someone in the world toll system as well. So in that, this is over here. In that uh, that whole um, that whole mess. Two transports are done. We got that going on. Um, that's that same. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. That's that over there. Uh, you don't, just go go refuel. Refuel, and uh, I want you to just go into defense mode. And just get, get repaired, get refueled, come back, cry a little bit. And we'll get you back out there. Okay, you know what? We need to get bigger ships anyway. So it's okay. 13 years for those destroyers. It's going to be a long time. As soon as they get repaired, though, we're going to come take care of this. Um, no, that, that's the station. The... Boy, they're picking on me here. We could we could probably go hit those fish folks and take their planet also. Um, oh, we finally see somebody. We finally see a uh, an owned blob over here. We don't see really what it is, but somebody owns this spot over here. And that's really all we got. Um, the new people we found, we've got... We saw those before, the Wooster folks. Um, is that all I see? Yeah. As far as mil uh, people, though, we've got... Let's see here. So we've met two different kinds of fish people. We've got the Ascendancy and the te Technocracy. Out there. Is that Tira? Yeah, Tira's over there. There's a colony there, a colony there. We don't know where the other guys are. But you can see where the Tira Nation is. This way. So we're going to build more ships... 
yeah, I, yeah. We're gonna keep on building ships. I probably could do it manually, but it's fine. We found some hidden things here. Oh, good, what is this? Where is this at? This is in... Oh, the system. I mean, well, yeah, we'll go, we'll go grab it, but we need to make sure we defend this place. Okay. Well, that, was, that was exciting. Lots of things happening all at one time. I couldn't handle half of them. Nobody likes me. No, I don't know. Nobody likes me for some reason. I'm a, I'm a nice lizard. Whatever there's over there in Steinus is nasty. The Grand Xenox territory has been encountered. This is the these are the um, the the cat people. Right over there. And they're a normal faction, right? Yep. Angry with us. This is where my mining station That's that same one over here in Tithoon. That guy. We gotta deal with we gotta deal with this. Which what what are you? You're a strength sixty one, you're weak. Very weak. Let's send... So the invasion fleet has troop transports. Everyone's kind of getting patched up right now. That guy's not feeling too good. Grievous Firestorm is a little beat up. His health's fine, though. Mostly we're just filling up. So the four of you, come take out this guy. Yeah, that guy's gonna be. We'll take care of him easy. These numbers here, like these exclamation, these lightning bolts. That's that's what the power that we see. There could be a lot more there. Like for instance, there is a lot more here. Here. Nanta Ra, we found some butterflies, moth fiber. This is the place that we were. Is this not the one we colonized? We got that one. Oh, yeah, you know what? And this is another desert planet in the same system. It's not very suitable for me. Maybe just mining? Quality 36. What is mine? Now low is not that great. This is in... Oh, in Anzat. Yeah, they're going to keep on pestering me. He's got some strength, though. He might be able to fight them off. As long as it's just the one. He's not quite in range for this guy. Just out of range. Now he's got us. Sure. Oh, he ran away, though. Good. Okay, that one. Yeah, I'll do that one. That's an Anza. That's what just happened. And our base was raided. He raided our base. Took some stuff. He failed to obtain any loot, though. So he basically comes in, tries to take some stuff, takes off. That's what these pirates do. Okay. <laughs> what was it that squirts blood out of their eyes? It's, you know, defense mechanism. You squirt water out of your eyes. Outrageous. You want to go take out this fleet? Strength of send my strength of my fleet to go take out this place. I do want to do that, so I'm gonna go ahead and sign that mission. Sure. So that was these folks over here. There's a human, ancient human colony ruins. Where? In the continental moon Emsu in the uh, Eden Nur system. Lots of stuff happening there. Investigate those. Uh, they clearly suffered some bombardment, some other cataclysm in the distant past. Above ground ruins seem more residential in nature. What little your team has explored below ground indicates these ruins are more industrial in nature. Mm -hmm. Given the instability, should you choose to focus your exploration above or below? So, above is residential in nature. Um, above ground could collapse. Below ground ruins and below. What was below? I miss. I miss. I'm misreading this. Above ground ruins seem more residential in nature. What little your team is explored below ground indicates these ruins are more industrial in nature. So let's, yeah, we'll uh, get, get underground. You find extensive signs of ancient industry as well as extensive remains, mostly but not entirely human in origins. 
completely ruined, but one data bank is still accessible and contains a great deal of information on this ancient human technology. Turns out it was once named Cygnus. Okay, what do we find? Lots of story, story, story. Ancient interstellar law enforcement organization called the Terran Rangers appears to have been put in charge of maintaining order. Technology advancing our understanding of diplomacy, human language, so we can learn how to talk to humans better. Okay. That's nice. It makes us where we, we like those guys a little more. So our diplomacy, that was, that's a tech we can get. Makes them a little bit happier with us. Which, you know what, maybe maybe we can have a friend. Sure, go send them over there. Humans and their salty water tears. That guy. Let me get out of here. By Terrible Bastion and Anzat. That guy again. He's going to keep raiding me until we deal with this. I think... Not these guys. Look at that. That fleet is at 670 strength. We got five forget the two escorts. Attack the base. Wait, wait. I didn't tell you to attack a base. Did I say attack a base? I think I said something else. No, no, no. Don't, don't. Where are you going? Ghost fleet base. And Anzat? I don't want you going there. No, 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 no. Um, did you deal with this one over here? I guess so. There's no more exclamation points. Or, oh yeah, they are there. That's that. You're not ready for this. No, no, go home. Oops, 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 oops. Look. Just defend. Go home. You, nothing's there yet. Just go home. Why are you going to that mining station? Just go home. It's fine, you can go there. What do we got? An Anzat. Okay. Anzat. That's that's our place. Uh, you know what? Let's make a fleet. I'm gonna tell them to make my own fleet. So let's go back over here. Don't crash on me. Okay. Over here. And we're going to make... Look at all this stuff in queue. Oh, my. I should build a new base, I guess. <laughs> um, give me a few more frigates. Yeah, I think we might, we might need another star base. Can I build one? Like over here. Can you give me a small spaceport? It's cheap. Yeah, give me a spaceport. We have a severe um, uh, backup going on over there. What we got? A mangrove forest moon. Okay. Uh, frigate complete. Frigate com escort complete. Found some fancy stuff. This isn't in uh, in in my system. Nanta Ray. We want more trip. Uh, sure, more ships. I approve. You've got not a lot of stuff. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna worry about that. You want fuel barges? Sure. New ambassador is here. Good. Go make people like us a little more. I don't know why no one likes us. I can't imagine. Under attack. Oh, oh, a uh, uh, Gravelix. Where's that at? That's in Kappa? Where is he? There he is. Uh, I can deal with that with a fleet. You, um, are you built? You have no... Yeah, fifth defense force. Three ships. You can probably kill, kill that guy. Ooh, he's tougher. You guys. Is the noble princess still alive? A fuel tanker. Noble princess. Okay. Go get it. Take that. Escort done. Under attack. Um, under attack and Anzat. I don't really care about that, but it is a little short. Oh, fine. Snickers, thanks for the uh, follow. T-Rex people. No, we're lizards. We're, we, we call ourselves the terrible lizards. That's who we are. 
this guy's rolling in here, but here comes my fleet. What is that? Just a trader? The Shady Negotiator is his name. Okay, yeah. He seems trustworthy. Fuel tanker under attack. And Anzat. What are you doing there? Why are you there? What? You get out of there. Fuel tanker? Why are you, why are you going there? What's wrong with you? Okay, you're defend. Uh, actually, you're not, you're not a defense fleet. You are a, I, I know what they're doing. You're an invasion fleet. Defense, you guys are fighting. I'll put you on attack, I guess. And Typhoon, Typhoon. Oh, this guy. Okay, yeah, yeah, Typhoon. We gotta deal with that one. It's a pretty small fleet can deal with that. This first fleet can handle that. I'm gonna send them over here. Over there. Um, I don't know if I can adjust my mining bases or not. I think... You can see what's on it. Seeking missiles and railguns. I guess I probably can. Yeah, we can go into the building menu. Are they in there? Freighter exploration ship. I think it's research station. I can do it. Do you see it? Spaceport mining station. Yeah, so I can. I can adjust the. Yeah, look at that. Ah, we could load these things up with guns. Okay, that's cool. And then we can also refit this guy click on him, we can refit him into something better if there's a better design. He's the MS-6, which is what he's already at. Destroyed troop transport. Discovered a destroyed, destroyed troop transport. Ancient ruins of a lost civilization in the mangrove forest of that place again. So investigate. Aliens were extremely hostile, and our surface exploration team was attacked and slaughtered after a brave last stand. <laughs> okay. Well, that's that's kind of harsh. A new colony of Bascaras discovered. Okay. Show me. No. Oh, crazy. Crazy bugs. Where's this at? Where you guys at? This is an uh, a Haslia. A Haslia. Oh, way over here. Okay. I've been to that planet a few times, haven't I? Yeah. Oh, that's this. This is a Haslia. Okay. No, this is an Anta Ray. What are you talking about? On a Haslia is a planet here. There. Where are they? Is it this little moon? Uh, this little oh, the little the little mangrove forest. That's that's that place. Okay. We just all found out that they're there. They got a they got a defensive hive. There's the destroyed troop transport. Is that who attacked me? Okay. When military attacks are automated, we will send an invasion force to take this colony by force. Do we want to do that? Invasion when able. Is that what's going on over here? Hey, programmer Jeff, how's it going? Just started? Uh, no, I didn't just start. I just had some... Uh, it's a beta game, and so we had some 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 beta issues with uh, crashies. Ghosts are raiding me. Alright. Slow down for a minute. You can go get that. This is in... Yeah, build a research station. We need that. That can go away. Who are these Boscara? Bugs. We had our base, but didn't get anything. We have the attack going on over here with a fuel tanker. For some dang reason. Oh, that's one of those bugs. Or those those things. Uh, and in Typhoon, but we should have a fleet nearby. My fleet might be a little too automated. So they're not really doing what I'm asking them to do. Where are you guys at? Go ahead and take over one of these bugs. Oh, there you go. You got it. Okay. Here they come. The mandate. Let's see what this frigate can do. You can see his range. He don't even care. Look at this guy. Thinks he's all that. He's tough. My strength is a 95. His is 414. Uh, sinized. Thank you for the follow.
too fast. Is he flying through the planet? That monster! New resource, eh? What's that? That's me. What is that? that is, oh, fuel barge. That's mine. The scoundrel of Vudron. Where is this thing at? I hear him. I hear him. I see him shooting. You guys are going to kill him, right? This is in Kappa. So you can see him been there, but he's like in the planet. There he is. Deal with that, please. There he goes. Neil Gaiman. Are you shooting? Yeah, yeah, we got him. We got him. He's doing a number on my station, though. Look at that thing. Got him. Okay. Uh, you. I got another job for you. What was that? What was that at? Man, things got crazy all of a sudden. Big bad over there. Anzat has things, we know. That's where everything's happening, though, is Anzat. That last one was Neil Gaiman, though. We could do a little scout over here and see what we can pick off. Because there's some things around. Being kind of annoying. What do we have so far? Oh, second fleet is worth is a thousand strength. Good fleet offers us protection. For free? I accept. Oh, I didn't. You didn't say 125. Okay, it's fine. I'll do it. Just, just get him away from me for now. Um, we're gonna rebuild our fleet, and then we we get our we we get our destroyers. We're gonna destroy them with destroyers. What are you? You're gonna go attack. Second fleet. I want you on defend. What do we got here? Reported threats in Anzat, but we know what it is. Second fleet over there. Sure, whatever. Get over there. Oh yeah, I'll take that. Noisy out here. Um, sure, we'll take some fancy stones. Whatever. I mean, you know, go mine whatever you want. Anzat. First fleet. Sure, get them in there too. Troop transports are done. So, there's a noble princess there. We're gonna go hang out in Anzat for a minute. Those are, that was a space monster screaming at us. Any more good colony places? Where's this one at? Naolo is in... What system are we in here? In Kappa? Kappa is where? That's pretty close to me. You know what? Let's just grab it. And then Izusen was it, is in that Eden system. Which is a little ways over there. Handsome ploy, he calls himself. I might hold off on that one. But we'll grab uh, Kappa. Of the, uh, the tanker, we have a discovery of some tribbles over here. Okay. Now, when we get that tech for planetary things, it'll come a lot faster. I probably should have done other things before I got those destroyers in. Looking back on it, destroyers probably aren't their first priority. But of my fleets, what do we have here? So I got two people going to Anzat, and it's 1,500 strength for that. Can my... You guys can take out stations. You know what? You know what? Go to Anzat. And you. You're a defense fleet. Go to Anzat. We don't like these pirates. We've decided that we've had enough of them. 
Protection money. We'll show them protection money. Pay a thousand. Fourteen hundred strength. That me though. Six hundred there. Plus he's got some ships around. Yeah, everyone come in here. No attacking yet. Just just hang on for a second. Fatal hands. We're doing this one more time, and I got a good feeling. I got a good feeling this time. Feeling my warmongering bones. Did they just take off? Are you under manual? You guys are good. You get get back here. Okay, under manual now. Stop and turn it around and come on over here. So they're no longer like our enemy, but they're about to be. Okay, so I want where are you at? You you are oh you're the troops. Can you Yeah, attack it. Everyone get in there. Oh, let's capture it. The invasion fleet's going to capture it. So you're going to beat them down a little bit. Troop transports will come in. We'll take it. And it'll be my base. Ancient human data vault. Right now? Ancient Human Data Vault on that same place, uh, Imsu over there. Let's, let's take a look. We found... Some of our scientists believe the only way to get inside is to use some of our most powerful plasma cutting explosive devices. There's a massive vault. I don't think with more time we may be able to interface with the ancient security system and hack our way past it. Uh, we're the angry lizard dinosaur people. We're just going to blast it. Okay. We got some navigational systems. We broke some things. Suggesting that another ancient location of a significant interest. Also able to learn a great deal about the engineering of these ancient super alloys. Uh, navigational directions pointing to a number. Send a ship there to investigate. We also found layered armor and deep space damage control. I like that sound. Like that. Okay, let's finish shooting things. Uh, I want you, I'm most concerned, let's just blast that little frigate there. Oh, that's me. Okay, he's going down quick. Are these my troop? These are my, my escorts. These are frigates. Where are my troop transports? Are they coming in? Are they here yet? Escorts. Fuel barge. Barge. Where's the troop transports? What are you doing out there? What are you doing out there? No, I think they're like... I think they slow down at this black hole or something. No, he just He just flew away. Okay. Second time's a charm. We may blow it up. We may get it blown up before they get here. Okay, we got down in the hole. Shields are down. Jubilant Miracles under attack. And Neil Gaiman. What are you doing? Oh, you're going after that ship. No, no, no. Uh, just... Take this guy out. Oh, was that? That's escorts. There's troop tran. Oh, just the troop transports were like right there. We oh, that was it. We completely destroyed Ghost Fleet. Take that. Haunted Warriors encounter. We have encountered a pirate faction called the In the Neil Gaiman system. Are those the guys attacking me? Show me. They're angry cats. Okay. He wants to off. He wants you know protection money and all that. Um, we're not paying it. He's evil. Get out of here. Foreign ships. After eliminating the ghost fleet, some of their ships have decided to join our empire. Oh yeah. All right. Excellent. Excellent. All right, everybody. Uh, is there an easy way to just put you on automate on uh, auto? 
So invasion fleet, you. I'm gonna have to put you on defend right now because I don't want you going doing any invading yet. I could set that up, but right now we're gonna put you guys defense force. You know, defend for now. Where does those new ships come from? They're over here. What do we get? We got the overpowering repulsor. Managed to escape our forces after successfully completing their mission to steal research information. What? Outrageous. Magdarian Ascendancy. This is the same music over and over again. So <laughs> you get a little old. These guys. Oh, yeah? I'll show you spies. I'll show you spies. Who wants to spy? You. I got a job for you. The Ascendancy. I want you to go... Yeah, you know what? Steal their map first. That'll show them. Okay. Okay. Everyone get back home. Get repaired. We got more pirates we're going to have to deal with here in a second. That's done. That's done. Uh, Neil Gaiman. Yeah, go go do that. Uh, I'm going to send... My invasion fleet, I think, is fine. So, our um, invasion fleet is right here. They are going to go load troops. Do you need to load troops? Looks like you did drop somebody off. All right, go get some troops. Maybe they just blew it up. What are we find over here? This is Embraces. Ah, humans. We found humans. What is going on over here? Oh, that's that's the point it wants me to go to. Ah, okay. Uh, exploration man. Um, solitary night star. Automate. I don't know why you're not automated. Whoops. We'll take lucky renegade. Come here. Savaging an escape pod. We found a pirate leader. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, all right. Where is this at? Fuel taker in Anzat. This place is just a just a mess. Um, where is... So we've got this one. And is he a prisoner? What do we do with that guy? I'm pretty sure how that works. I don't know what the price is going to be on, on this. We found... Uh, we can talk to these folks a little better. Oops, I needed that. A lot of things just popped in. I just ignored. Um, let's see. What time is it? Oh, it's my bedtime. This is what happened last time I was playing the game. I just got lost in it. Man. Kids are begging for food and all that. Yeah, go away. I'm, I'm building a space empire. Yeah, yeah. Get, get out there, buddy. We're gonna go out on a high note, though. First game is still 60 bucks. Yeah, I'm assuming a price. Yeah, I, I would imagine. That seems like a reasonable price for our uh, assumed price. Uh, we're gonna go out in style here, though. So, we know we've got... Where is it? Did they, um, did they all die or something? Where is the one that we wanted? It was in... It wasn't in Kappa. Remember that planet we were going to go take? It belonged to... Did they all die? They must, they must have died? It wasn't these guys. Remember the little fish people? What happened to the fish people? Hmm. All right. Interesting. These guys are, are kind of starting to like us a little more. We could try to make them like us, like, like us, like us. By, we can give them a gift, 
we can say we can give them money. Uh, we can also give them just give them things here. Like we can say, I can give you contact to people. Um, you know, here you you can have contact with everybody. There you go, pirates. Take it. Okay, so we gave them we gave them a gift, and now they're at plus five with us. If we get out to plus ten, then they will. Um, we can do a, a treaty, the non-aggression pact with them. Send them another gift, you know, whatever. We can do that kind of stuff. Uh, um, is there anything else we can do here? I don't like you enough. We can get their system map. I can give them my effective diplomacy, mortal and culture and customs. I can teach them how to talk to us. That's a lot of money. That's 236,000 credits that's worth. We won't do that yet. But we can make, well, we're going to try to make, make buddies with somebody. No one else likes us. Oh, they settled over here? These uh, purple folks are uh, having some sort of power over there. Threats in the Steinus system. That's a scary system. We're not going there. We've got... Uh, oh, here we go. So the, the pirates want to offer us something. So they say, we'll give you an unknown system map for 3,300 credits. Sure. So they told us about... What system? Uh, IT-856, which means it's probably garbage. I don't know where it is. Is it usually highlighted here somewhere? I don't see it. It's probably... Who knows where it's at? There it is. There it is. So, they gave me the most garbage of systems. There's nothing here. It's just a star. Thanks, pirates. I got swindled. But, I think just by doing that, it means that... Yeah, we're up to a 7 now. We're honoring our protection agreement. I gave him gifts. We have beneficial trade deals. So we're almost at 10. We can almost... It's its trending down. Let's see if we can get it up there. We, we just met who? The murderous fang prowlers? <laughs> okay. Murderous fang prowlers. Now uh, here, you want to talk to the murderous fang, fang prowlers? There you go. What's that put you at? We're still at seven. Come on! What about the murderous fang prowlers? Let's sit for a minute. <laughs> uh, independent colony of humans have been has been encountered as well. So many things happening. Uh, they're naturally hot. Where are they at? Down that way. Okay. So you know the whole protection money thing is happening again. Uh, yeah, we'll go get that. Oh, he evaded detection, carrying out his mission to steal tech territory map of the Akdarian Ascendancy. Excellent. That's how we got all... Oh, nice. Nice. Very nice. What we got? So they they have some... They have some, some space, because that's all... This is a, a big faction. So, and there, the, this is them. This little section right in here. I guess over here, too. I wonder if they are over are in there. There's the Sinocracy. Te technocracy. That's Grand... Okay, they're both purple. That's Grand Xenox there. And Darian is this one. And then the little humans over here. Protection money. I'm not going to do it. Because I don't know where they are. If they start fighting me, then maybe we'll do it. But we'll ignore that for now. I know, I'm not giving you money. I want to go out in style and take out... Uh, go conquer a planet. We're going to find a way of doing that. Advisors suggest we declare war. Excuse me? Declare war on the Grand Xenox territory. You want to go fight the cats? I think that's a fantastic idea. That's a fantastic idea. Declare war! Those filthy cats. What we got over here? Where's this at? This is in human space. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a place to... Uh, we do have a lot of things going on over here. My fleet's over here. Do we have? Do they have any space over here that we know of? That's just a little. There's some ships there. Oh yeah, they have that planet, right? Is that them? No, that, that's not them. They are. Yeah, that is them. Just look at the flag. Okay, there's a ship there. 
There is a, there's a, there's a third invla invasion fleet, like, in our space. Which consists of what? A couple of troop transports are out here. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to grab... Um... Who's the big guys? These guys are getting repaired. We shouldn't mess with them. These guys are weak. Real weak. Uh, Tedious, thanks for the follow. Let's take these guys. Three, three escorts, three frigates. And... Take both these guys. And we're going to set them over here in... We'll send them to Neil Gaiman. No Gaiman. What's there? Is that... I don't know how tough that planet is, but I'm guessing it's probably pretty tough. Let's just go... Let me send them to, to tier first. Actually, that's that's where we've got stuff. We've got a station right there. Let's just go here. Go there. Bring... Bring the second fleet. The second fleet's broken. We'll get in there in a minute. Bring the invasion fleet as well. This is all troop transports and a couple of escorts. Let's get over here. That goes away. Sure, get that one. Now we got a war going on. Expanded space station research complete. Nice. So we're on those destroyers. Tractor beams coming in. It's, it's actually adding in extra things because I haven't been researching anything. Um... Had some fighters on there. We should really stick with the early stuff also and get, you know, shields. Um, early area weapons. That's already working on that one. Get that one going. We should move our stuff over here. There's a lot of overlap going on between us. I really need to go to bed. So let's let's wrap it up with a, with a proper fight. I'm going to come back tomorrow and do some more of this. Um... Things have been stable since the reboot, so hopefully uh, the game will, will cooperate. And maybe play a little more of this tomorrow. If, everyone, if, if everyone's up for it, I will. If I'm up for it. So you can see that. So most of this was unlocked, I think, with... Um, thanks to my, uh, my spy. So we're all going to kind of hang out over here. Once we get in here, we're still flying in. And then I think what we're going to do is we're going to go into... We're going to go here. There's there's 500 million of them, so it might be a lot. I don't know how, how behind I am in tech, and this is how we find out, I guess. No war progress here. So, let's... Well, as soon as he, he meets up, we're going to head over that way. Maybe we should send another fleet in. What if he comes in somewhere else, though? The 5th Defense Force. Let's send them over here also. Over to Tier. Lots of, you know, lots of, like, fuel barges and things. Just, like, freighters hauling back and forth between World Hole and here. So we get all, all four of these fleets are in here. What are you doing? Is there a fleet to, to attack? Are you going to attack this fleet? Yeah, they're not, they're not here now. Just come here. Yo game, death. Bring them all in. Yeah, the graphics are great. You can zoom, you can zoom all the way in to like, down to the ship. There's my troop transport there. The uh, the bright red planet. And you can zoom all the way out. All the way out. All the way out. Way out. Okay, so once everyone gets there, we're gonna we're moving out. Build more ships, I agree. 
How's our backlog with ships? Probably still pretty bad. Escort ship. I'll do it. Uh, let me look at that real quick. My planets that I own. So Nanta Ray is still pretty small. But let's get a base going. Oh, can't can't afford it. Oh, I'm broke. Yeah, we're building a we're building a bunch of ships. I'm broke. Uh hmm. You know what? Money's for chumps. We don't need money. Okay, we all here? Yeah, we're all here. Okay. So, let's send everybody. All, right. all, all fleets. Uh, can I shift click on all of you? Control click. There's a way of doing it. I don't remember how to do that. Grabbing everybody. Uh, I can merge fleets, you know? Why don't we just do that? Where's my merge fleets? Button. Um, whoops. Best plans. Retrofit. Uh, the fleet menu. I don't know. Template. I don't remember. All right, we'll go to, uh, alone. So let's tell them to meet up like that. So that's the planet we're going to go to. Let's go to this planet here first. Neil, Neil Gaiman 1. And when we get there, we'll move over to Valerian. Tactical combat, turn-based to real-time. It is real-time. There's no tactical. It's real-time. Or it's not, yeah, it's all real time stuff. The colony ship's been made. It's going to go take care of that planet we set up. And here comes the fleet. We're about to see a battle. You want to make more ships? Basically, every every penny I have, it wants me to make more ships. Unknown items detected over there in U Uvu. Oh, that's a good looking place, though. I gotta admit, oh, this, oh, this is where the, hall, the, the human place is. Okay, back over here. Ah, what happened? Okay, back it up. Okay. What's happening? What's happening? Look, I just want to go... Okay, there they are. So there is... There's some weirdness going on here. The game is in beta. <laughs> I can't... I can't scroll over. I just want to scroll over. Please! Okay. There's what? Three frigates over here. We engage. Did it, it did it again. I just want to I just want to go and I just want to watch the fight. Okay, we're going to scroll in this way. Where are we going? Where's this fight at? I think it I think it's over here. We have a couple fleets around, but nothing too like terrifying. We just warped in. Here we come. They've, got, they've, they've chosen the circle the wagons technique. Uh, are we at war with these guys? Am I? Am I? I'm not attacking the wrong guys, am I? <laughs> Wait, no. Hang on. Wait a minute. Why are you? But why is the purple? So oh, because they're up. <laughs> Grand Xenox is this color purple? And. <laughs> Why is it so close purple? I don't know what these... And they're all the same... They're all fish! No, they're all cats. They're all something. <laughs> okay. Well, you know what? Um, they're fish. There's other cat people. 
Uh, it's all very confusing. And as a, as a big lizard man, we don't really understand. And so we just... We just spite. Boom. Grand Xenox offers to end our war. What's the deal? What's what's the, what's the uh, the offer here? Like we're not gonna like lose out on anything, are we? I accept. Peace. Okay. Look, see, you're all purple. I just don't understand. Is that my ship? My rest of my fleet's being very slow. Load troops. No, no, no. Oh, you're a different fleet. Okay. Uh, attack from Starfall. Capture Spectre of... Yeah, whatever. Uh, you know what? You, the invasion fleet? No. Invasion fleet. Get the planet. One's a little purplier. We don't decipher that kind of stuff. Get in here. What is that? What, what part? Of, what fleet are you from? Fourth invasion fleets. Come here. Uh, yeah, get get that planet. We don't want it. It's ocean. They didn't even see us coming. Sneak attack. <laughs> Look at that frigate. That cool looking. It's flying backwards. So when we invade. Um, here's our invasion. So there's 391 of them, and there's 1,200 of us. And the combat just sort of, you know, like that. That's combat. More fish people. I can't handle it. This world, this, this space needs more lizards. They're kind of beating us down here. We have overwhelming odds, though, and space control. Colony captured, invaded, and taken over a colony of Balarian of the Akdarian Ascendancy. And now we're all, like, drowning. Because it's a big ocean world. It's mine now, though. Population of Akdarians. My planet. They're really mad about this. They like the taxes, though. <laughs> uh, oh, 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 we did it! Oh, we did it! We boarded it and captured a, uh, a ship because my troop transports. Oh, nice. So it's mine now. Now we, we can fly the right way now. Oh, he has fighters? Oh, look at him. What kind of fighters can we manage here? Retrieve all interceptors. Upgrade all fighters with the latest designs. Sure. Retrieve them all. I want to see this. Here's one right there. Yeah! Check that out! There's my other guy we stole. People are unhappy here. They're rebelling against our rule. Excuse me? I just took you. Can't rebel already. I got troops here. Are they... Are they... Oh. They'll get over it. Sure. New general. Colony conquest. After recent, recent events, he showed up. He's like, hey, you guys are pretty cool. I'll join you. And we captured an enemy admiral as well. Ah. Salvaging a skate pod. We got that guy. Spaceport complete. Uh, so he is a prisoner, correct? Yeah. There he is. We can return him. We can recruit him. Or we can execute him. This will anger the Akdarian Ascendancy. He's good at weapon damage increases. He's a good general, but... Um, this is this is how war works. Um, this will anger the Akdarian Ascendancy. Yes. Put down a rebellion. That's how you put down a rebellion. Make examples, you know. Okay, so... Dir the, di <laughs> the dirty warriors. Hey, hey, Frank! We're about to make up a new gang of uh, pirates. What should we call ourselves? Uh, how about the dirty warriors? Excellent. <laughs> okay. We're, uh, you get away. I don't, I'm not going to pay you money. You're named the dirty warriors. Mm-mm. <clears throat> Okay. Now look at that. Look at the yellow blob grow. Our mining station is under attack by who? 
The Dirty Warriors. Oh, he's got a cool looking red ship. Strength 165. Man, you can't. Where's this at? Kamara in, in the Kaimara. I don't even know where this place is. Oh, it's just right over there. Man, I don't want... Fine. Fine. Take my money. I only have so much. We got a lot of money all of a sudden. What? We robbed these guys or something? Uh, we got a... Um, this is a... a uh, what's the word? Um, it's bedtime. Um, resort station. Because this place is a pretty planet, we get some resort... We get money from resorts stuff. Um, we're gonna go... Yeah, no guy over taking all that stuff. No gaming. Oh, I, sorry, I say his name wrong. Um... Am able to call any ship? Do you? Okay. And we accepted their gift. Okay. That... That's a high note if I ever saw one. So, um... We're gonna wrap it up right there. What's our, um... Our war score is plus 231k. What can we get out of this? Can we say, like... They don't want peace. I can say, give me your station for peace or something. They don't wish they don't want to end that war. Alright. I'm not really sure how to work that. Um the 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 war part of the of the deal. I don't want to click that button because I want to keep killing them. So we've got Weariness is down, is at minus 21. Ours isn't that bad, though, right? Our weariness is fine. I don't remember. I saw it before. I don't remember where I saw it now. Weariness plus two. Yeah, we're happy. We love it. We think this is great. Captured their colony. We captured a ship. And we move on to the next one. Okay, I'll probably come back tomorrow and play some more of this. Unless something else really grabs me attention. Uh, but this has grabbed it uh, enough, um, and so I'm gonna come back. So anyway, I gotta, I gotta wrap this up. I gotta go to bed. It's, it's um, late, as always when I live stream. Um, but I'll be back tomorrow, same time, and we'll play some more of this. I've changed. I, I'm testing out some things with my my premieres. So there's not a premiere tonight over th for those of you on YouTube. I'm gonna do it tomorrow afternoon. So we're gonna try some afternoon time premieres and see how see how that goes over. But uh, this will make its way to YouTube as well shortly. If that was anything more interesting than this, you're probably right. Yeah, you're probably right. This is this is surpassed any playtime that I've put into the game. Um, I haven't made it to this point. So this is all kind of new territory for me. And very exciting. Um, anyway, I'll save the game. You know, everything went, went fine as soon as as um, as the roll restart and all that. So hopefully things will work better tomorrow. Um, and uh, we'll wrap this thing up. So... Just one more turn, right? This isn't Vampire Survivors. So, thanks for hanging out, uh, everyone, for uh, for this. Uh, we want to pop in and say hey to Avic again. Avic's playing Rogue Tower. That's good stuff. I was playing it just the other day, and it's really a lot of fun. So, I'm not sure how much longer he'll be going. He usually goes to bed by now, but we'll uh, we'll say hey to Avic, and um, I will see you all uh, next time, tomorrow night or morning, whatever it is, and we'll play some more of this. So, um, again, thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you next time.